Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bureau here. Welcome back to another Elden Ring Invasion video. Hello everybody, hello. How goes your day? What is up? Um, hang on a second, I think I have my volume a little low. My sound effect's supposed to be two. There we go. It's a little bit better. Hello, hello chat. Long, what's up man? Masen, Masen Hime. hello Jiddy, what's up? RD, uh, Rene, hello Jiddy, hello. Nice. Yeah, I see people. Uh, my plan so far, I guess, for invasions is going up like 10 soul levels ish a day. We did 50 last time. I'm going to do 60 today, maybe 70 tomorrow, 80, and then like see like if the activity is increasing with it. Because uh, when I tried meta, it was it was really like three days ago and not a lot of people were there yet. So we're going to do this plan, see how it goes. Hello. Oh, oh, did Oro try madness as well? I feel like all the streamers are going to try uh all the stat proc things i did bleed i'm doing madness now i want to try ice or holy next i'm not sure gonna have to make a build for that but i found a whole bunch of the madness spells um we got the flame of frenzy i'm gonna show you guys builds up madness uh this one i don't know if i'll land but if someone walks into this i think it can fully cause madness build up right away uh and then the the beam the beam here is pretty cool <laughs> That's actually pretty nice. Get this thing out of here. I didn't even notice he was going to walk in here. Uh, but when you proc the madness, they're kind of stunned there for like a couple seconds. So you can get some free hits in. And the spear itself causes madness buildup. So nice. Nice. <laughs> I'll show you the stats too as well. You're doing a frost mage. That's really cool. I, I do want to try frost eventually as well. I'm going to try all the stat things first. Because they're the most different from the souls games, I would say. Um, the stats are on the right right there and uh, yeah, and I also got the frenzied flame casting tool Which is the best for uh, madness build up. So yeah, I had, to, I had to do the dark ending I did a little bit of work last night. Uh, we got our we got our character at level 50 All the way like down into the sewers of Landell to get that uh, I, I brought them basically to the end of, well, even more so to the end of the game than the last character We got the medallions to get the last Estus shards here Killing the commander was was pain on soul level 50, uh, but you need to do it if you want all your Estus. And I want all my Estus, so I, I did it. Uh, what's the bling options for the armor? Oh yeah, sure. So the commander set, uh, well actually it's really weird. So I, I was learning some things about poise before we get into the invasions here. I'll just kind of explain. Um, there's certain poise break points that are just like active poise. Kind of like Dark Souls 1, but not as strong obviously from what I've tested. Um, a break point for like light weapons like curved swords, katanas, all that would be like, they do 55 poise damage, so you want 56 poise to tank a light hit. You know what I mean? Uh, I brought it to 100 just to see what we can tank. I think so far from what I've tried, I can tank a halberd. Um, maybe a one-handed greatsword I think I did once. So I have a lot of poise, that's what this ring does. It uh, gives you poise. So I got 103 poise. We'll see. I, it's... I don't know how useful it's gonna be though because like you might tank one hit but like after your poise is broken I don't know how long it takes until it resets um yeah I know it was it was tough Antonio it was tough I'm not gonna lie commander Neil summons were terrible uh and so was so was Moog under the the chapel I did like no damage to him where is he yeah over in the frenzied flame uh area oh wait no yeah wait no his is the forsaken yeah that was that was a tough area <laughs> no, it's just a plus one one uh, for the Erd Tree one. Let's see. Let's do an invasion here, I guess. Um, whoop. I, I'm trying to test out to see what areas we can get uh, invasions at what soul level and what like weapon level. So we're going to start and maybe, maybe go up like 10 soul levels by the end of the stream. So You get the plus one one from uh, killing Moog, Andrew. I haven't used the ashes yet though, but that might be a good way for you guys to get to the game at a lower level. Oh. Wait. <laughs> oh no, wait, are they in the hallway or are they behind that door? Oh, they're over here. It's a wizard. I really want to try the beam. See how much madness we can build. Oh, oh wait, the wizard hit him with me, but that did like 250 damage from really far away. That's pretty good. Let's try the weapon art. Oh, he bypassed me. <laughs> oh, he's using the bleed uh, halberd. Hang on, let's get some of this back. Our weapon does cause bleed or madness build up. Nice. Can we combo this? Nice. 
So when you proc a, a madness, as you can see, they're stunned there like that, and then you kind of get a free hit off. Uh, the best hit I think you could possibly do is like a fully charged R2, or the weapon art if you have time. It seems. Did you know that the Twin Sage Glintstone Crown's eyes look like they follow you? Really? That's pretty cool, Alvevnor. I never really looked at the actual masks. Looks like they're looking at me though, now that you say that. Madness is madness, oh, indeed. <laughs> hey Chase, did you indeed. know that the Twin Sage Glintstone Crown's eyes look like the follow you? It's a trick of light, I think. I gotta look at the helm though after. Now I want to do them. Dude, there's so many fun builds. Like, all the stat proc ones, they're just so interesting, you know? I gotta try them all. Although, be warned when you use the Madness build-up weapon art. Uh, it builds Madness up on you. <laughs> we got poise. I think I can roll light weapons. Oh, they're kind of tanking me though right here. Let's get this going. I'll tank that. Trade for madness. Okay, he's dead. But you gotta watch out for wizardry though. If I didn't have my shield, I probably would have did a lot of damage. No. Don't. Oh, I don't have FP. Nice misses. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That just goes to show you how good the hitboxes are. He uh, rapier poked to my left and to my right, and he missed me both times. <laughs> Yo, Ken, thank you so much, man. How are things? They've been going well, man. They've been going well. Excuse me. Uh, I started with the Vagabond because I could reallocate it into whatever I want. We'll do like three invasions maybe per uh, little grace point so we get a varied uh, scenery. I'm going to try that. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, like, the weapons are gonna constantly change. The game's brand new, you know? Like, expect things to be, like, underpowered, overpowered. They're gonna, they're gonna balance stuff, so. Oh, yeah, your Estus goes to plus 12, by the way. I learned that recently. I was looking up the Sacred Tears, and I was like, what? Uh, one of the ones that I missed was up, uh, here. In the Church of Inhibition. I never really... Re oh, went up to that church. Is this a person? Uh, the Madness is good. It seems to maybe like proc in like four hits, five hits, depending on the armor set. The weapon art definitely creates it really quickly. But it also creates uh, Madness on yourself. So it's kind of like a fair trade, I suppose. Um, you get 14 Estus, just like Dark Souls 3, and then the one, uh, Flask of Wondrous Physics, so... It's 15, just basically like Dark Souls 3 overall. Wait. <laughs> Where did they go? They're ghosts. Oh, uh, okay. That'll happen. Um, as of right now, I mean, the Rivers of Blood wasn't even the best at whatever level I used it at, and it might have been more optimal to use that at lower level because it doesn't currently have its scaling, so if, it fi if they fix its scaling where you get damage, yeah, it'll be great. Um, if you tried to use that right now with, like, my 130 build, it would be terrible because it doesn't gain any extra bonus damage for the stats, right? Because the Arcane ones aren't getting their scaling at the moment, so... Yeah, it disappears when you're closest though, Jiddy. So I like I, I sometimes look around and then see it and then run by again. Thank you. I cannot wait to get my butt handed to me in this game. I am so gonna suck majorly well. Dude, it takes a while to get used to it. There's no combos, it's very different. Um I've been enjoying it though, and it is nice to get used to like different mechanics. Whoa, magic also does a lot of damage. It always will, I think, in Souls games, but like right now it's like an entirely different beast for sure. Whoop. Let's put the shield on here. Let's try this. Nice, that was cool. That was actually cool. He 
doesn't do that. I mean, he does a lot of damage, but he does... Uh, aw. Aw. <laughs> I don't know if the connection errors are, like, just the, the game being new and, like, people just have a bad connection. Or it happens sometimes, though. That seemed like it was going to be a fun wizard fight. <laughs> I'm going to try to land the inescapable frenzy one, though. Yeah, it's the game, huh? Yeah, seems that way. It didn't really happen to me often. That's the first time I've seen it happen in a little bit. Didn't happen a lot last stream. Do you need the golden seed to get... Uh, 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 you mean the one that you get as a gift? I don't know. I don't think so because I have full flasks and I have uh, one extra seed. So I don't think so. <clears throat> I think you're good. <laughs> um, Malfeasant. Yo, is pairing any good? I think it is. I'm just not going for it because I'm trying to show off the weapons more. If that makes sense. Pretty sure you can parry some weapon arts as well. So each of my like streams, I'm like do it, trying to do like a unique build a little bit. Um, show off the weapons and their new types. Uh, you 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 get 14 Estus total when you go through all of the game. I hear some weird things. Surprise! Oh, I missed. Dodge. Dodge. Oh, he's got Scarlet Rod. <laughs> hey, a blue. Oh, that's so slow. Ha! You fool! There's wizards in here! <laughs> here, have your AoE back. Oh, God. Honestly, that dragon fire is a bit strong. Just a bit. <laughs> the range on it is freaking unholy. Let's dodge this a little bit. Stay in wizard hell though, it is gonna help us a little bit. Oh, I'm getting hit by that. Ha ha ha! No, I'm not! You got fucked by the wizard! I'm dead. <laughs> Oh, and you got madness proc. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the dragon flame is scary, though. Its its range is nutty. Yo, Snippy, uh, try the the Erd Tree Greatsword. Um, Erd Tree Greatsword. I can't even think of the Erd Tree Greatsword, but we'll move a little bit to get more into... How would we get to the front? Into the front gates? Or into the water, maybe a little bit more? Ooh. Yeah, lots of the magic has very big AoE. You gotta watch out, honestly. The dragon casting, I think, is definitely more on the strong side because if it's stun, like it just knocks you and it's ranges. You can I don't think you can outrun it. So, like, the only hope for fighting that is in an open area, and they can kind of hold it. I don't know. There's lots of things that are just not perfectly balanced in this. That's for sure. But. Hopefully, as time goes on, they'll, uh, they'll fix some things up. Yeah, I've seen that uh, talk, and that definitely needs to be patched for sure. Yeah, I think. well, I think the dragon spells have the most that I can think of. Uh, yeah, it's slow, but the thing is, um, it, when you're casting it, they, you can hit someone casting it for sure, but when there's multiple people... It, it just kind of AoEs the whole area. You could turn the Dung Eater into Sullivan's Puppet. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the Erd Tree or the Erd Tree Great Shield. Yeah, okay. This area isn't as active as the dungeons. That's for sure. Let's go try more the Church of Cuckoo. <laughs> Cuckoo. Oh, it does turn. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Hope we get, yeah, I'm definitely going to try out the magic. Of course, of course. We're going to try out all the magic. Hey, Chase. You can turn the dung ear into Sullivan's puppet. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Honestly, that's so kind. Uh, yeah, I've heard that Thank as well. Uh, Snippy. I don't Hope plan we'll to do those first, though. I just want to show off the main weapons. I've never hit someone with the ice sword spell without one-shotting them. I survived the ice sword, but it does like 60% of my health. It's crazy. <sighs> oh, hey. 
Why, hello, team. Welcome to Madness Population. Maybe you. Oh, I didn't see that guy. He's dark. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna beam this. Uh, oh, I missed. I missed the phantom. Is that hitting the wizard? Wait, where'd he go? He ran away from me. Nice. <laughs> we got him grabbed. It's quite dark in here. Aww. Uh, you have to be a little tighter on the backstabs now. Although the grabs is still there just as early. Uchiha Sasuke summoned. Boom! Yeah, that's what you want to see. That's not what I want to see. I'm dead. No, he got grabbed. Nice. <laughs> that was like a proc in my face though. Wait, did he die? Or... Uchiha Sasuke is a little bit laggy. It's okay though. I'll just focus on him. Smash. 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 Nice. The real tanky boy. Real tanky boy down. Wait, what? <laughs> wow, what a cinematic end to that fight, actually. Wait, he died twice. <laughs> Madness so nice, he died twice. <laughs> Alright, note to self, don't roll in to the guy charging the frenzy flame. I thought I could like get behind him, but my roll was kind of like shorter than I thought. Oh yeah, sure. No problem. There you go. Oh, uh, the item in my left hand is the casting tool called the frenzied flame. What do you think about poise chase? Is wearing heavy armor worth it? Uh, it's it's interesting. So, I mean, once you get your poise broken, it seems there's a time frame before it resets. So while it's useful, um, after it gets broken, I, I don't know how to reset it. I don't know if weapon arts reset it like Dark Souls 3. Uh, I have to test that out. If they don't, it's not really that worth it because I don't think you're going to like not be hit for a decent period of time maybe in like a 1v1 it's probably a lot worth it or at the start of an invasion when you actually get the poise trade it's nice i don't know all of the mechanics for it yet though but it's it seems good straight swords don't tank me until the second hit i think i'm able to tank one in light weapons so that helps uh yeah we'll have to i'll have to test more for sure to know I, that's why i'm trying it out right now to see if i notice a huge difference between it or not. Oh, this is a much better area in the day. Uh, I do. You know what? After using the bleed, uh, that first stream, you can still roll bleed procs, which sucks because, like, the whole bonus of a bleed build is getting the bleed proc damage. So the fact that they can still roll it, like Dark Souls 3, bad connections cause that almost without rolling. I procced a guy that was just standing once and he took no damage because of our ping. While, mad well, yeah, while Madness, I've seen proc mid roll. And they still get stunned. You can't, like, dodge the madness proc, so. If they fixed the bleed one, I think it would be just as good. But because it's not, madness might be a little bit better if you guys are going for a stat build. They're back this way. Yeah, I know they're on my compass. Yeah. When you get close, though, the compass disappears. The golden, like... Uh, are they on that side? Okay. This is interesting. I didn't notice they were that far back. What the hell? Okay. Oh, and then a connection error. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think it'll be around like 130 to 150 fic. Yeah, because most people will be done the game at like 140 from what my, my playthrough was, I think. That sounds like a good guess. Uh, the reason that I, I'm just like going up 10 soul levels a day to get the player base a chance to go up there. I don't think most people are in the like 130 range right now. You know what I mean? <sighs> the game's pretty huge. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. Honestly, the magic the magic's pretty strong. These, these are how Souls games are at the beginning. You know, there's very weird damage outputs. Just gotta test everything out. Hello, Ultra Lad. 
Hello. You dare? That was a brave thing to do with that Ultra Great Sword. Can I just say? Can't tank a Halberd running attack. Or a jumping attack. Noted. Very much noted. This guy loves running and jumping attacks. We can break his shield. Nice. I think we can break that shield without even hitting them, to be honest. Wonder how close we are to rocking his madness. There it is, with this blue coming in right at the perfect time to prevent my punish. No. Okay. Want my FP back a little bit here, so we're gonna go get cover and let my madness uh, rebuild itself so I can use the weapon art. The only tough thing about the, the madness is, uh, yeah, it builds up on yourself too. Oh, I don't even have any FP. <laughs> okay. Why are the blues all lagging out, man? I feel like a lot of people playing on Wi-Fi. <laughs> Usually the host in his fr- Oh, damn, he's taking so much madness built up. See when they get madness, boom. Full charge in R2. Or you could do the weapon art, but I think the weapon art's more useful if- Hey there. Oh, I can't take that. That's for sure. You can't tank this. Nice. And he's taking the AOE the whole time. Oh. Okay, so a fully charged R2 might be a little slow. I'm pretty good at the roll catch with this. Let's try this again. Oh. There we go. You gotta be really tight on it. I think he's dead. <laughs> yeah, if you die while madness procs, you, you get up and you die to madness. That's a really interesting one. You can backstab, you can. It just, uh, you have to be really precise with it. The, the grab box is much tighter. You gotta be right up in there. To be like right, like running right up on those cheeks. Like. <laughs> that was a fun fight though. I'm kind of sad the blue got lagged out, honestly. Is scaling worth the damage? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you about scaling is the more you upgrade your weapon, the better the scaling will be. So as more of the player base approaches like the end game and our higher level, we'll be able to invade at that level and you'll see that the scaling makes a pretty big difference um, in the later game. Yeah, I would say madness is very good, especially against turtley people. Um, because the madness builds up through the shield, so... I could see madness being something you keep on you for that reason alone. And you could surprise attack. Oh, I think I can tank one hit of a curve gray sword. I just did actually, so that is confirmed. I know some weapons have some form of hyper armor, which add to your poise. Not many, but some do. Look, this guy's fighting the air over there while the wizard hits L2. <laughs> hey man. I would have backstabbed that, but he jumped so far because of the hill. Ridiculously far. Nice, dude. I actually jumped a, a backstab the jumping attack. What the hell? Oh, too slow. Too slow. Unfortunate. This guy did it again. You could jump a backstab. Or you could backstab a jumping attack. From what I just did. That is pretty sick, man. Ah, uh, so not a jumping attack. I can't poise a jumping attack. Let's go over. Oh. The flame on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run into my. This guy loves jumping attack. Good trade. This is, by the way, a. Uh, great spear, I think, is what it's called. Oh, good fight, man. Good fight. Yeah, it's classified as a great spear, so they're a little slower, but they seem to have much more stagger, which is pretty insane. Uh, madness is not as good for PvE, Bobby, in my experience. <laughs> uh, it's not. It works well in the PvP, though. But I tried it on, like, bosses and stuff, and yeah, it's not as effective. Bleed would be better for the PvE. Oh, at least animal. At least. It's going to be higher, in my opinion, when everybody starts getting to the end game. The dragon spells are pretty crazy, Arda. They are crazy. <laughs> 
I, you, you fight a lot of them when you invade. We found one already. It's range is crazy. <laughs> you have to run from it. Uh, well, I've only done, like, three different builds, I guess, so far now. I don't have, like, a preferred. They're all good in their own way, I guess. I have to, I'm going to have to try out, like, so many things. We're going to go through all the weapons. I'm just starting with the stat proc ones because they're brand new. They're kind of interesting. You know, madness is not a thing that's been in Dark Souls. Um, bleed was, but the, the weapon arts are very cool. Hello? Where's your teammates? You don't invade alone. Oh, because of the shield, I see. That's a hole. Didn't you put the elevator down? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wasn't he looking at the hole? I'm confused. Like, wait. <laughs> uh, they're very different, Daniel. You don't need to spam a comment in someone's stream a thousand times. Believe it. Believe me. We see it. We see it, man. We see it. We see it. Uh, they're very different. It's hard to say. It's really early in the game. Uh, I do play on PC, yes. Yes, I do. I, I just prefer the, the graphics. And it's easier to record, to be honest. And I like my PS4 controller. Hey, we're all newbies to Elden Ring, okay? I'm sure there's some really strong stuff none of us have figured out yet. Whoa! Hey! William Wallace! Hello? Quick step katana, alright. Let's get in that crowd right there. Bam! Nice! That worked. Unbelievably well. Oh, we madnessed him from across the freaking map. Oh, that's cool. I thought it would like, you know, build up the madness meter, not proc it. What in the heck? This guy likes his quick step katana. Oh my god, yes. Please get the madness built up. Oh, I thought I would tank that katana. Unfortunate, really. Shield. Madness. Going in. <laughs> this is so satisfying. Oh yeah, we can poise a katana. Our poise right there. We just tanked it twice. Nice, dude. Good fight. Good fight. That guy did not upgrade his weapon. That is for sure. Or something. Or he doesn't have the stats for his katana. I have no idea. <laughs> he was doing like a tick to me. Yo, I actually like the frenzied burst. It's pretty good, man. Inescapable frenzy. We'll have to, you know, we'll have to try that on somebody with a straight sword or a light weapon that just runs at me. I'll like charge it, hope I trade and grab it. It'd be interesting. Do I have the Clarifying Horn charm? I have the Bull Goats charm. I don't have the Clarifying Horn. What does the Clarifying Horn do? Um, okay. Quick step. You do see a lot of quick step on uh, weapons, that's for sure. Well, we're all noobs to Elden Ring. I have a lot of Souls combat experience. But I mean the game. Oh! Wizard! That's a really cool tech on the bridge. Can I just hand it to the little wizard here? Oh, I kind of wanted him to fall off. That would have been so cool. Dodge. Wait, this is this is a good opportunity. I, I don't think he realized this is going to reach. <laughs> it actually reached. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Wait, did the guy die? Did he roll off the cliff in a panic? I didn't see the summon die. Wizard! Face my wizard wrath. My, my wrath is madness. Nice. 
Nice. <laughs> okay, it's it's working rather well, yes. It is. Did he roll off the cliff when he got up? Man, did I not see it? That's hilarious. But yeah, wizards are, tend to be squishy in this, but if they're in the back, they do high damage if they hit you with the, the heavier spells. There you go. If you play as a sorcerer, you are cheating. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, there are some ridiculous damaging spells as wizards, though. Oh, is there a crit dagger? I guess I never found it yet. Intense, dude. It's been awesome. So I was following the quest line of Shabriri. Uh, well, not Shibriri. Hayat is the girl you give the grapes to, and then I got the Frenzied Flame. I was like, oh, boosts, friend, or er, causes uh, madness buildup and boosts that type of incantation. So I was like, oh, man, we got to try that out. And I found a bunch of the Frenzy spells last night. They're really cool. Fool! You dare challenge my Frenzy buildup? <laughs> I'm going to be honest. That worked out far different than I thought it was <laughs> Then he walked off a cliff. Far different than I thought it was going to work out. Oh yeah, when you tell her it's eyeballs, oh. Just vomiting ensues in the quest line. I didn't expect that. I was sitting there <laughs> after I gave her the, the this third grape or something, I think, the, the bigger one. Build my guy. And I'm just like editing and I just hear vomiting and I was like, oh, what the? <laughs> it's just her in the background, like, dying. Oh, the masquerade or whatever. Yes, Lusco, I do know about that. Oh, lots of things are like this uh, eclipse. There's so many like unbalanced things when a Souls game comes out. <laughs> one shot sorcerers are annoying. Oh, I believe I believe you. I almost got one shot uh, last stream by a sorcerer just using the storm stomp. I had to dodge for my life. Uh, the bloody fingers are to warp around in an invasion if you don't spawn close to your opponent. So, if you look on the map, I'm close to him, apparently, because I don't see the golden compass. So, he's within a certain range. And if you're far... Oh! <laughs> you ambush me! Oh, hey, it's a hole. Oh, he's a little bit laggy, but that's okay. That's okay. Scythe wield it. That one's not okay. That one is the furthest thing from okay. I didn't expect to lose half my health right there while they lagged. Scary, scary. Okay, now I can hit this one. Okay, I think we're good. Remember, the game's on a peer-to-peer -peer connection, so, like, if someone has bad ping and, like, bad uh, connection, the, the battle's gonna be a bad connection battle. Dodge the bow. Nice. Sixth and Spidey dodge. Chase, good job, good job. I have an idea. <laughs> that idea worked very well. Wait. These need to be order of acquisition. I ordered guys my rings. That was so good. Oh my god. That was hilarious. <laughs> Dodge. People get roll caught by this so easily if you just learn the timing. Yeah, they never stop panic rolling. You dare? King of Madness. I, I, I missed my turn. Okay. We must win with the weapon art. It is foretold by the gods of madness. Alright. Let's just get full health here to tank whatever he does next. And then we trade with this. Come here, brother. Okay, I can do it one more time without getting madness built up on my face. Uh, you're not supposed to dodge the special attack, sir. You're not. I want you to die specifically to the weapon art. Chat? Are we back? I think we're back. <laughs> I think we're back. <laughs> Yeah, that might have that might have been on my side. My OBS like just stopped completely. We're back. We back. 
Okay. I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> I looked over at my OBS and it was like, offline. And I was like, what? Why am I offline? That was weird. Definitely strange, to say the least. I think it was YouTube itself? Maybe. I don't know, my OBS? Or maybe it was YouTube. It, it, it said it wasn't receiving any info from uh, my OBS. Ow! Okay. That was interesting. Oh, I really wonder if you have low health um, on in your own world. Do you think I'm going to go into an invasion with that amount of health? I have questions. What the? Okay. Something's uh, interesting is going on here. I saw that. What the heck is doing that? This time my OBS said it was fine though. I don't know. We're back again. Yeah, I saw. I saw. If it does it a couple more times, I'll probably just not reset the stream because I can actually leave the stream on, but I would just reset maybe the game and OBS. I don't know. A little gunky, yeah. It doesn't make any sense though. Okay, well. Let's just see what happens. It's almost like something's like blocking OBS for a second. Or YouTube's just missing the bitrate entirely. I don't know. Wow, my madness build killed somebody without even being part of the, the battle, okay. No, it's not stuttering on my PC. I don't know. I literally think those were like YouTube interruptions, but I, I can't be sure. Yeah, cause like, it's like for like a second, but I see it. Not right now though, but like when it happens, it was weird. I think it's good now. I guess. It was very strange. <laughs> How dare you, YouTube, when we're trying to showcase madness so well. Uh, uh. Uh. Yeah, what in the... Okay, you know what? I saw that again. Okay, that is YouTube. That is YouTube because my bitrate's fine. It just... I see it just block everything for a second on the network here. I don't know why that's happening. It's almost happening when I hit invade. <laughs> it's really odd timing. Maybe I should relaunch OBS while like just leaving the, the stream open. Um. Because that's not a normal thing for, like, I've never seen that before. And I've had issues in the past. This is a weird one. It's a very weird one. Let me look at this. I'm actually going to just look at YouTube when I go to hit invade. That'd be really weird. I do stream at a really high bitrate to YouTube, I suppose. I don't know, sometimes they t tell me it's too high, but that's what they recommend for 1440, so I don't know. Okay, well, we're in an invasion, so I'm not going to complain until it happens again. <laughs> Yo, Chromie, you are the one with the magic, and magic is one with you. Yes, but madness, not magic. I'm one with the madness. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chromies, man. It happened again! Okay, I'm resetting the router or like whatever. I guess. This is so strange. Okay. Alright, so. You are one with the magic and the magic is. Yeah, no, this is this is on my end because my game kicked me from the invasion. So the stream is gonna be up. Or wait, maybe it's not. I was thinking I should reset my router, maybe. Because something's interfering where, like, my bitrate's going to zero. That's very strange. I'm trying to think if I do reset my computer. I think I can actually leave the stream on, so you guys are just going to see a black screen. But I'm going to do a refresh of the router, so it'll take, like, two minutes issues. total. I can tell it's not super optimized on any... All right. 
I think we're back. I think we're back, chat. Uh, let me know if you can hear me. Let's see. Okay, let me launch Elden Ring and maybe we'll be good. I do live. I literally reset my computer. I reset my uh, my OBS and now I got to relaunch Steam, which is having a fit. So we're going to have to task manage close Steam for some Thank reason. You. Um, you are one with task. the magic and the magic is one with you. And Repeats task. this X three times. Smiley <laughs> face. <laughs> That's weird that that actually just came back. Elden Ring has a lot of issues. I can tell it's not super optimized on any platform. Loving the game nonetheless. I hope from soft keep up the good work. There we go. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Okay, there we go. Steam's back. Now we launch Elden Ring. The bro lives. I live in darkness, apparently, but I live. Uh, yeah, the game's launching. We're good. I have no idea what that was, but I think I'm going to start resetting my router before we do any stream because sometimes, I don't know, it'll just have like a micro issue, but it stops the stream for that second. Um, let me know if you guys, wait, Elden Ring should be launching in a second. Oh, did Oro do it? Yeah, someone said Oro did a Madness build too. I've only seen Oro's, uh, put, like I, I caught his stream, I think a day ago, and he was doing a, like a punching build with like a bleed build up fire magic. That's, that's all I've seen Oro use so far. But he streams like when I, I think I'm streaming sort of too. So I don't, I don't get to catch his streams often. Okay, we're back though. Let's hope that helped. Um, yeah, I don't really know what the hell that was. Let's go. That is my plan though. We will just re reset it every morning, I suppose. <laughs> nice, nice. It's actually going in quickly. This is good, this is good. Oh wait, I need to pop out my chat. <laughs> I was like, why am I looking at the tiniest chat window? Sorry. I only saw like three of those messages. Uh, right now we're in the 60s range, apparently. I'm, I'm 57. I'm going to level up three times soon. I just need a few souls. Hey, it's a wizard! It's plenty of wizards. They're always wizards. Should we start with the frenzied flame, you think, boys? Or should we... Whoa! Right off the cliff. Oh man, that was so close to being off the cliff. Oh, never mind. He he completed the task. Oh, he's alive. What? There's an area down there? This guy doesn't know how to roll. Finish with the madness. Yes. That's all I want. Finish with the madness. Is there a cliff down here? This guy might have just taught me. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I guess. Sure. <laughs> no, we're 60 today, JN Cable. I'm going up like 10 soul levels a day, basically. <laughs> that was so funny, honestly. I haven't tried whips yet. I mean, I've literally only been doing invasions for two, two streams now. So I've tried a bleed build, and now we're trying a madness build. Next time, uh, maybe holy ice. I want to try all the stat procs first. I, I, I've tried... Okay, I'm going to try to right now, Gladiator. What's the range? It looks like they literally have to be in my face to use Inescapable Frenzy. So, I have it. Because I thought it looked cool. But then I realized that uh, you have to be in their face. Is there a boss you struggle on a lot? Yes, Melania. With a katana for like three hours. And then I killed her first try with a halberd. So... If you're stuck on a boss, try a different weapon. That was that was the Thank secret for me. This Is there around. a boss you struggled on a lot? Uh, yeah, the weapons are plus four. I'm thinking when I go to 70, I'll go plus five. I don't really know how early you have access to these weapons. Since I played through the game, like I know where to grab everything. You know what I mean? I wonder like on an average playthrough, like what level people will have by like Lucaria or the Atlas Plateau afterwards. Oh, okay, we're near, because the music is here. This way. In the cave up there, maybe? I'll try and get the inescapable frenzy. It looks pretty cool. Uh, 
Oh, they may be on the elevator. Yeah, they're not ahead, or are they? Wait, the thing is, no. I guess it always has that aura. Jump. Oh, so you have to trade into it with the poise, huh? All right, I can try. Sounds like they might be up here. Indeed they are. At least that's not very strong compared to like a lot of things. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I need to like charge it maybe? I'm trying to figure out the secret to that attack. Hey, you calm your titties. Okay, this has enough poise to tank the blood slash though. That's good. Maybe I can get them by trading them around the corner. Um, let's see. I need the straight sword lad to just come right at me. Oh, they ran away from that guy. Okay. Oh, after they get stunned from madness. That is a great idea. That is a, that's huge. Huge, huge brain right there. Big brain thoughts. Uh, I don't have enough FP, no! So sad. Okay, we get another chance. We'll, we'll redo our FP here. Um, maybe we'll try to do this on them. If I get a stun, we gotta keep Inescapable Frenzy right on deck. Ow. Okay, their, their madness meter is probably pretty damn high right now. We need, to, we need to capitalize and change here. Not high enough though. Still not madness. Geez. There we go. Oh no, the wizard ruined it. The wizard totally ruined it. Ah, okay, we. We gotta kill the phantom first, then we'll just go on like a regular kill first. And then we'll do the madness stuff. Oh, he did a jump attack. It's the only reason I got stunned right there. Oh, they're both just eating that. I like that. One that stamina. Oh, you little shit. Oh, I'm stunned. Woo, heal. Fuck off, mate. I will kill you first. Fine, die then. Ruin my test. Ruin my test, will you? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so uh, the weapon art also causes self madness. Yeah, just just be warned on that one. That'll happen. Wizards do ruin everything. They do. We'll get, we'll try that though. So I just gotta like weapon art, get them incapacitated, then go in for the inescapable frenzy. That's we'll try that. We'll try that. Silly wizards. No, I need 33 faith for that, Dylan. I, I could upgrade later to do that, uh, but this weapon also doesn't scale a ton off faith, so uh, this is like optimal sort of stat-wise for it at the level I'm at. If I took away some of the dex or strength, I would lose quite more damage. Um, Well, I, this isn't a regular spear. This is a great spear, so it's, it tends to stun pretty well. I like that. Hello. Wamo blamo. Oh yeah, that, that that spear is like a no Estus spear. I remember that. I was hit by it. So we gotta play rather careful here. Well we can still use our this spear, so that's fine. I mean our uh whatever you wanna call this. Physic flask. Can I interrupt that? I can, sort of, yes. I think he'll get madness from that. Maybe this. Oh, he died. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, we got one guy alone. This should be a little bit easier to deal with for the trying to land the, in this, 
capable frenzy. I need more FP though. Okay. I mean, he might die though from the madness. Nice. No, you do it. Ah. Oh. Oh. Excuse me. What? I grabbed him though. Both times. Rip inescapable frenzy. That was a grab, right? I'm not crazy. I even did nine damage to him. Such a weird. Boom! Nice. <laughs> Blue dead. I'll try again. I feel like it should have worked though. <laughs> it's all it's it's I'm gonna label it the escapable frenzy, actually. It's uh the unhittable frenzy. <laughs> nice. Fun fight though. Fun fight, fun fight. Damn, what is the hitbox for that thing then? <laughs> how do you how do you get it? I love how people say soul level. Yeah, rune level. Sorry, RL. I gotta say RL. You're right. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm trying all the uh, stat effect ones name. That was my plan. So we did bleed. This is madness. <laughs> this is madness. Uh, next, maybe we will do Scarlet Rot. I don't know. I'm gonna look through all the weapons that we found. The ones that I haven't collected them after stream, I guess. I have. I think I have like every area open on this character. So we can go anywhere we need to to get them. Pretty chillin'. It will always be soul level. True. Very true. Uh, yeah, I've, I have my 130 character that we made. I made the bleed character. Uh, that's level 50. This is the 61, and it's a Vagabond. So I have a few characters that we can work with. All right. I think I like the frenzied beam and the other frenzied thing the most, obviously. Bat! That didn't frenzy him, though. I was fully charged as well. A little bit on the... Oh, those dual ultras? Oh? Oh, whoa. Yeah, good thing he missed. Oh, there's a tree there. Okay, well, they're about to get grabbed. I'll hit him. Nice. His frenzy meter is probably so high. Not high enough, though. Are those, are those two great swords or what are they? Nice. I love the madness, man. It's so cool. Boom. Oh, he's madness. Oh my god, that's so good at point blank range. If you hit them with the spear and the madness flame, they get like instant madness right there. And then I just get a heavy after. Oh my god, that's so strong. He was tanky too. He had a lot of health. Nice, nice. <laughs> That's so it's pretty easy to dodge though from what I'm looking at. If you roll behind it, uh let's see. I don't think there's any AoE that goes behind me. No, it's all in front. So you gotta be careful. <laughs> gotta be careful with that one. I think I think the yeah, I think that Ash of War does seem to give uh hyper armor in some ways. Although I have a lot of poise as well, so it's kinda like blending together, I, I assume. The madness stuff seems cool though. I don't know, are there any other madness ones? I uh, got invaded by Vike and she was causing madness on me, so I figured the spear would be pretty good for it. I don't know what the other uh, madness weapons would be. I will add them to this build if I can find any. Well, no, I know it spreads, but it spreads in front of you, not behind you is what I'm saying. So, um, gotta be careful. What does that do? Is that a buff? Some sort of buff. Nice. Nice, he did. Oh, that's so that's such good for aggression. Oh my god. Herkinax! Oh, I can't take two hits of that, okay. That's a great sound. I wonder if we're locked in there. No, it's not a dead end. <laughs> Bam! 
Bam! Oh my god, it's so good. If you hit the weapon art, it's it's just it's almost over. But you have to hit the sword or the the spear with the flame. If it's just the flame, it doesn't seem to madness build up all the way. <laughs> I know I missed my my golden knight crown. That's why I'm using this. It's gold at least. <laughs> this is my favorite chess piece though. Ever since we found this uh, in our in our well, I wouldn't say wizard playthrough, but our dex playthrough. I love this cape. It's so, I don't know, it's cozy. Definitely one of my favorite sets in the game. I don't know the level range myself, Julian. Um, Like to test that, you'd need, it'll be really hard to test that because there's so many players like, it's hard to just invade, let's say you had a friend and he was a level range and he kept going up and up and up to see where you couldn't invade him. You'll be invading other people. Like, I'm not sure exactly how people even test that, to be honest. Seems difficult as hell with, a, a like, a 900k player base. You'll just invade everyone. Hello? <laughs> it's pretty cool. What's this? A lightning strike. Okay. Jumping around the corner! Bap. 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 Nice. You didn't save him, Akasha. Whoa, what's behind me? Where did that come from? What in the hell? Freaking wizards? Sword wizards? <laughs> I hit him out of the air at least. Give him that madness build up. Oh, nice. Ah, dead. Death to the, the wizard sword. And now death to you, young Akasha. Oh, it's still not wizard build up. It's okay. <laughs> That is a tough situation to be in. There we go. GG. Go! Filthy wizards. <laughs> I despise that katana. It is very good. It is very good. It also... I didn't know there was a sunbro being summoned, so that scared the hell out of me. Um, okay, let's try another part of this area. What if... I mean, there's so much more to the area. The, the grace points are weird. Like, we could try to go in here somewhere. What about, like, down in the crystal thing? Um, or up leads to what? Up leads to the debate parlor, I guess? Let's try there. Uh, it stuns them. Madness buildup stuns uh, the player when it fully builds them up. And it drains all their FP. <gasps> it drains all their FP. I found the way around wizards. Oh my god, I just thought about that. Does it drain all the FP or most of it? Oh my god. The new anti-wizard stick, if that is the case. I forgot it does that. Hole up. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot it does that. That was not at all why I wanted to use it. Oh, that's amazing. That's extra. That's extra on top of why I like this. I just like the stun. 50%. Okay, that's huge, though. It does drain FP. It does drift. It does. I've had madness happen to me. You lose FP. 50% is still huge. Yeah, I'll take that. That's a win. You think I didn't see you, little katana onion? Oh, I didn't see you, though. I'm gonna be real. The hiding objects thing definitely throws me off. Hey there. Enter my sanctum of demise. It's fun in here. I promise. Heal. What slash still does a lot of damage? I'm, I'm just gonna... Oh, wait, ball. Oh! Okay, we're gonna play. 
We're gonna play the survival game. Ball. Hello there. Come back. Oh, you actually ruined my backstab. That would've been such a good one. Oh, I didn't see the sunbro right there. Oh, I can't save that. Welcome, boys, <laughs> to, to wizard hell. Actually, how's this guy not mad in this buildup? <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even—I forgot this guy was here. <laughs> Sun bro? <laughs> I don't know, that sun bro had a lot of... Uh, Madness will destroy tank faith builds. Oh, because of the shielding you mean? Yeah. I bet you it will. Yeah, no problem. Show the build throughout the stream all the time. I think I'm gonna put three more levels into either decks to up the damage a bit. Or maybe faith, I guess, for the spells. It's tough. Yeah, it's the jump attacks are interesting. I agree. All right, why? Oh, the ball makes the area shake. Oh yeah, no, PVP is never balanced in a Souls game until quite a bit later, and even then, you know, is it ever truly balanced? But am I weird for not liking how the the map shakes? I, I dislike. I think it might be a little higher, Leo. I was trying to refrain from leveling in my playthrough after a certain point, and I straight up like had millions and millions of runes at the end of my game. Oh, hello there, boys. Welcome to madness. I'm poisoned? Not me? Let's get some regen going here. Actually, I can poise you. What am I rolling that for? Great swords are now nothing but weakness. Weakness leaving the soul's body. Okay, except for like when the connections are very strange. Then it's like interesting. Hey look, it's 2v2 now. Which two is better? This guy's trying so hard to shield fish like it's Dark Souls 1. That's just not gonna happen then. You're actually gonna get madness build up real quick. Soon, I think. There we go. Bam! You did. Okay. Oh. Hey, good job, teammate. Good job. <laughs> good job. <laughs> yeah, the, like, no one's there yet. So, I would say what I'm doing will keep my activity strong until people make it there. I'm just going up, like, 10 soul levels a day. What do I make of all the chicken and bird themed enemies? Oh, like the giant birds and Caleb and uh, a few of the others. I hate the birds with the talons, Poncho. I hate them more than any boss. <laughs> They're so annoying. <laughs> Thank you. What do you make of all the chicken and bird themed enemies? I hate them. Yeah, I have my 135 one as well, proficient, but it just wasn't very active. So we're doing this first. Ooh! Alright, that's bait. Where is your host? He's back here. You did, one does not simply stand on the ledge for no reason. Hey. Long dong. <laughs> okay. Just get hit by the crab first, I guess. That's fine. Yes. Such good roll catch potential. The running attack on this, the running light. If you get the timing down, you can you can roll catch if they panic roll. That's actually one of the reasons I like this weapon. I couldn't roll catch with the other ones. Yo, Maxis, thank you, man. I appreciate the 21 months. Damn, dude. That's almost two years. Half the Dark Souls stream career, dude. Am I, dude, I heard the Mimic Ash is great for clearing the game. <laughs> Spits. I haven't actually tried any of the Ash summons. 
I wanted to, to play it through the first time, just like a normal Souls game, you know? Yeah, uh, well, it, no, it doesn't build madness even if they roll. So there's this thing in Dark Souls where sometimes uh, animate, like, build up, like stat build ups will happen if you're close to the end or the beginning of their iframes. And that's the, oh, oops. Me and Thank my you, Spitz, level though. Seven with the moon veil ash of war. So in Dark Souls 3, it wasn't on every roll that it would build up. It was it was interesting. I'm not really sure what causes it or not, but you could proc the stat effects during someone's roll and they would dodge all the damage. But since Madness isn't like... I don't know, it's different apparently. I, I can get them in the middle of the roll with the build up. So it's not as bad as Bleed. Oops, that's not how you bow, man. I'm so used to Dark Souls controls. Yeah, I'll take that heat like a badass. Yeah, I totally meant to do that. Why is there always someone behind me? <laughs> you guys, man. I feel like that blue was here before I was. What in the hell? Goodbye, blue. Where were you even? How did you get there so quick? Hey there, ultra lad. Oh, that can tank that. That's really cool. Wow, well, that guy's great hammer does not hurt at all. Well, I have a lot of health, I guess. I have like 1600. He probably just didn't level as much health. If that was like 100 and something damage right there. Yeah, the other guy's ultra hurts quite a lot. Bait out that heal, boy. Get that booty, boy. He was bait. Bam! Free heavy. Nice. Oh, that was a great bait. Yeah, it is a stun. That, that, that definitely is why it works. Yeah, you have to be... Okay, so the difference between DS3 backstabs and this one, definitely the angle check. Aw. Aw. Did he quit out? Aw. That's unfortunate. Fun fight though, minus that. Uh, no, this is uh, this is more of like a, a Dex faith. Thank you. This is like a, a quality what Dex level faith. Is FK Moon veil. <laughs> Fuck Moon Vale. <laughs> um, well, it's not established yet, Professor. Uh, people are thinking like 130 to 150 because you beat the game around there, so yeah. That was my guess. And it still hits the good soft caps. Some, I think a little higher than Dark Souls 3 just because of the requirements for some weapons. That's really it. And some spells and stuff. Yeah, just, just invade at whatever level you want for now, you know? Just maybe don't go above 150. If I feel like it might not be that much higher than around there, so... You're safe. I would say, like, 60 to 90 right now will be super active with all the players playing and going through. And then after that, you know, worry about that. Have I tried the goat roll, Ash of War? No. <laughs> I don't think I found the goat roll. What the heck? That's funny. Uh, it's the weapon art. It, it's attached to the weapon itself. So certain weapons have specific Ashes of War. Hello, boys. We got Dakos. Tacos, tacos. Oh, I poised that. It hit me. That we dodge. Moonvale a little bit strong for sure. I'm gonna have to avoid Moonvale. Like it's the plague. Oh, these guys hurt quite a lot. Oh, actually, not that much. I lied. That hurts a lot. But it's okay. Oh, the latency's a thing here too. Okay. Well, watch out for that. We'll be watching that. No, no, Moonvale is like known damage, like really high damage right now. For its range and stuff. I've been hearing about that all day. Okay, bye boys. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> sure. Uh. Oh, they'll be on the elevator. Ah, oh, they're gonna fog wall. But can they plunge me? Yeah. 
Uh, will I do a Melania build? Oh, we definitely can. Yeah, we can cosplay some uh, enemies for sure. Let's see, do this. I hate people that fog. Well, it's not a big deal. You find so many invasions, it's whatever. Uh, I'm trying to think of, like, what would you use for Melania's build? Uh... It's her katana, right? You can get her full armor set as well. Thank you so much, the verified demon. Wait, is your is your picture um uh God? No, 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 wait, not Godwin. Uh, what's the Dark Souls three woman, man? <laughs> I forget the name. Why am I forgetting? So much Elden Ring. I forgot the lore of Dark Souls. Hello, Rusty. Thank you so much, though. Oh, okay. We dodged that. We dodged that. Rusty. The Rusty Bardish. I wonder if he fears the madness. That is a really weak miracle. Interesting, though. Gwyn. Gwyn. Gwyndolin. Gwyndolin? Guinevere. <laughs> Too many Gwyns! Man, anybody else notice that in Elden Ring as well? They like the name Mel. There's Melania. There's Melina. There's Millicent. There's. <laughs> I was out here getting confused. Kyo. Kyo. Hey. Get back here. Fear my. Fear that. It didn't cause madness buildup at all. Mirica. Okay, it's more like Merica, though, to be fair. I didn't say it's Merica. Thank you. Oh, it's Gwendolyn. Yes. Is Gwendolyn. That's what I thought. Okay. Gwyn something. <laughs> Thank you, Verified Dream. That does... Yeah, yeah, I see that now. It's kind of dark on my other monitor. I appreciate the support, though. Queen Merica. <laughs> oh, yep. Hold up. There's Margot Margit. You guys see that one coming? Because I didn't. They like to oh Ranala and Ronnie. They like to keep the names in relation, I guess. Yeah, sure. I mean, I show the full build all the time. I'll just flash it between invasions, I guess. People come in and it's, yeah. Uh, I'm wearing very tanky armor and I have 40 vigor. <laughs> I try to emphasize this to people that are new to Souls games, but health is important. Very important. Let's you survive and learn the boss fights more. I know everybody wants high damage, but like when you're getting two shot by something, you're not gonna learn as much, you know? Why just plus four? Oh, because weapon matchmaking and soul level matchmaking are a thing, so. Because my character's like a level, almost level 60, I need to matchmake with other people at that range ish. So I need my weapon to be what they would have as well. True, don't need HP if you don't get hit. That's the thought process, I guess. But you're gonna get hit. Definitely gonna get hit. <laughs> Alright, Tonk. Oh, I thought that was gonna be the ice thing. Oh, you want AoE battles, do you? Well, step into my madness ring, my dears. Wait, is that building up madness or what? Woo. Let's get some health back. Their madness has gotten a little bit stronger. Aw, oh, that's sad. Can he aim that? Oh, you can't turn that? That is so sad. I feel like you should be able to turn that. That makes that rather weak as a weapon art. It's for both of you. Yet it hit neither of you. This guy loves R1. Okay, I feel like... Oh, I'm stuck on turtles. Come back here. Tonk. Tonk. Oh man, I thought the PvE was his teammate. There we go. We gotta capitalize on this. 90 damage. What kind of nonsense? Are rolling attacks that weak? Jeez. I feel like that was weird. And he's just rolling for his life over there. Is 
This guy doesn't stop attacking. <laughs> he just likes to live in your face. A weapon art, weapon art. Bat! There we go. There we go. GG though. Very GG. Roll attacks nerfed. Well, that one in particular did like no damage. So <laughs> the rolling attack on this spear is probably not the way to go. Right, we did a lot here now. Is there any other area here in the Liernia we can do, I guess, just to mix it up? We can try a little bit more of the Carrion Castle, I guess. Or near this area? Oh, this is the Church of uh, Inhibition. You can try that. It's basically where you get the spear, so. Most level 50 to 7 have a plus 10 to plus 13. Yeah, so I guess I might be on the lower end of that, Sugar, because I'm technically plus 10 with what I have, but it's getting me a lot of invasions, so. I probably could up it a little bit and get more damage, but it's rather working well for me. The loathsome dung eater. <laughs> no backstabbing on madness. Uh, do you mean like it causes madness? Yeah, I think I killed someone with a backstab and they like got madness after they died. It's funny. Oh, well, I got that spear actually right around here. I didn't mean to rhyme. It's funny though. Okay, wait. It's like up there. I don't know if they're down here or up there. There's an ins uh, amazing insanity spell, like the like madness. Uh, equip unicorn or. Ah, uh, well, you're always fighting outnumbered, but I guess I'm very used to that, personally. I played Dark Souls 3, and a lot of viewers would make teams for me to make them really good fights, so. Regardless, like, I'm kind of used to fighting outnumbered, I guess, in these games. Um, let's play that way. How'd I miss it? You get invaded by uh, an NPC that drops it. Unendurable. Oh, I do have that spell, but it, it needs a lot more faith. Oh, they're far from me. Damn. I'm on a mission, apparently. I'm having a lot more fun with Elden Ring than any Souls game at the moment. Is it the most balanced? No, but the, the world design, the weapons, they're all very fun. It's very fun, you know what I mean? An NPC never invaded me. Yeah, there's some... So there's some requirements for some of the NPCs to invade you. Uh, I know the guy in the church in Liernia, only, or the church, I mean, uh, the guy here in Liernia, in the, this shack, will only invade you if you've prior done the, the quest with Arena with the letter here. So I think there's a requirement. I don't think you're ever locked out of it. I think you can always probably go back and do it. You just have to search up how to get uh, them to invade you. Yeah, yeah, you can always use the area. I mean, you're always fighting out numbers, so you try to use the environment to your best of your abilities. Especially if you're new to invading. Like, you know, fighting 1v2 is not easy when you're new to this game. That would be very difficult. Well, new to any Souls game. Man, where did it spawn me? These guys are on the other side of the planet. Okay, I'm near them. Oh, they're bushes. Wait, that's the host, right? I want to not fight the host. I want to kill the wizard first. As is wizard tradition. Okay, you no. Know. You don't get to free hit me just because I'm attacking your wizard friend. That's not how it's going to be. Nice. Bat! Perfect. <laughs> okay, buddy. Alright. I killed his I killed his tank. He was like, I'm out of here. And we out. <laughs> okay, dude. Alright. <laughs> we filled the madness and the fear meter all at once. Too powerful.
Yo, what's up, Ronnie? How goes your day, man? Bellum Highway. Ooh. Ooh. Dun -dun. I just got a free rune arc. I didn't. I didn't even know he was dead. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell, dude? All right. That was free. Have I tried Lake of Rot? Yeah, I was thinking. I, I kind of wanted to save it though to be a uh, Scarlet Rot build, you know. But we could go there as well. I just thought it'd be very fitting. I'll try to invade the madness areas as well. I think there is one around here. I should go to that church. That's like a madness area, so. Hey, what the? Oh yeah, I can't horse. Man, I can't horse about. Yeah, so it's, it's different. Everyone's, I guess, trying to compare this to Dark Souls 3 combat. Like, it's very different how light attacks are very dominant in Dark Souls 3. Here, heavies and weapon arts definitely are a better source of damage I put in stuns so you just need to adjust are some of the weapon arts a little on the powerful side yes <laughs> yes some of them need to be toned down game is new they, they will do that but yeah you can't play this exactly like Dark Souls 3 there's there's passive poise um weapon arts are definitely your main source of damage output they're limited because of FP but still it's a different type of combat than DS3 for sure Uh, well, you get the great runes, and you get the Fro Calling Finger to co-op, I guess, so you, you gain some of those online items. Yeah, they'll patch out a bunch, of, like, a bunch of stuff. The game is huge, you know? Hello, Phantom May. Phantom May. Poopert. Pooper. Wizard. Wizard. My wizard senses go off. Let's get the shield going. I don't like this shield, actually. I think I'm going to switch that physic. Is there another wizard that just... Wait. My brain hurts. What was that? Anybody see that shit? The wizard, like, casted something that entirely appeared near me. Man, if I was alone with that wizard for five seconds, he'd be deaded. He'd be deaded real quick. Hey, wizard. Your tank's a little bit behind now. Oh. Mages are fun. Fun and balanced. Back here, you little maid coward. Don't circle around your host. There we go. Now we're winning. We are of the winning now. Charge! Oh, that was so slow to hit me. Ah. Uh, you have to like perfectly space that, I guess, to get it. Yeah, it's not gonna... I've done it a bunch, but... Oh, nice. Smack. Nice. Bap. Fun fight, May. Fun fight. Ooh, I'm not sure if Ronnie ever leaves the tower. I don't think so. I think most of the quest lines you can do. I'm not sure, though. You could always... Oh, I guess you're just asking because you're, like, around her. But I, I haven't experienced her leaving. I'm liking this so far, this, this armor setup, to be honest. Uh, I'll try to make other outfits, but this one I'm loving right now. Good poise, looks cool. 
The frenzy stuff is very cool. Oh yeah, I've been. Oh yeah, I, sorry, I didn't use them in that fight, but I have been using the spells. Yeah, we use them more. They're cool. Ah uh, yeah, that range is nutty. <laughs> Oh, I actually hit him with that. <laughs> oh, that would have been really cool if I got that. Oh, he would have got roll caught if that hill wasn't there. Yeah, he's a fan of roller, 100%. Get him with the weapon art eventually. I need more stamina. To, I, I grew it. Oh, there we go. Back! <laughs> A little bit more FP. I think that built up Frenzy even during his roll. GG, Devil Knot, GG. <laughs> I guess you can kind of strafe the dragon thing, but they can turn it, but I still get a free hit, at least, so that's kind of nice. Yeah, I think you can stun them out of it, at least. So you could have just face tanked and smacked them. Yeah, but they knock you down. Well, the fire one does, Eternal. I'm not sure about the, uh, the, cr the Scarlet Rot one. I'm really unsure on that. I did that one... It, that one didn't knock me down, did it? It's very different. Um, 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 um. We could try near the Carrion Manor. We didn't do any of those today, really. <laughs> Going all the way to the end of the game, Min. <laughs> That's how. <gasps> looky, look at my map. <laughs> I took this character all the way to the commander, killed him, got all... I mostly did it for the uh, gold seeds, though. Because as an invader, our Estus is still halved, so... I went and got all the Estus and key items. And there's no way to get the key items but to go get it, so... Had to do it. Had to get her done. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we could try some of the dragon stuff. Yep, yeah, I am someone. Indeed. Oh, that's why I didn't like invading here, actually. I keep getting summoned on this bridge. And, uh... Yeah. They're always down there. Is there an easier way from here? I guess I can just go down the stairs. Uh, no, I don't feel any FPS drops, but I do have a BVPC, and I think they keep trying to update it and fix it for the people that do have FPS drops, so. Ah, uh, because, the, oh, I do use the bloody fingers when I need to, Zulpi, but here I just get spawned on the bridge again. I've tried. I, I literally spawned two feet from my, my spawn point the first time I tried that here. Yeah, for sure, uh, Eternal. It's got a huge AoE. You could definitely get some teams in, like, a corridor and just nuke them. Oh, hello there, Yagar? Jaeger? Jaeger or Yagar? I'm not sure who went out on that trade. I'm gonna go ahead and say it was probably me, to be honest. Get them, little hand. You're much more powerful than the big hand. I'm glad I have a lot of stamina, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Can't get backstabs that easily that way anymore. You know, we'll get the shield going and some regen here. Thank you. The 
Yeah, oh, we got the damn. The like... Thank you so much, EJ. I appreciate it. Damn right, filthy wizards. They're always doing filthy with it. filthy wizard things. <laughs> hey, watch out for that big hand behind you. I warned you. Things pretty intense. Yikes, that hurts. Hands are not nice. Nice. <laughs> Get handed. <laughs> what a rough time for this one, lad. Okay, there's a blue build up. I'm gonna be very aware of that. Nice. Smack! Very fun fight. He has those double dual wield bleed buildups. <laughs> the hand, the boss at the end of the stage. <laughs> Thank you so much, EJ. I appreciate it, man. Someone give Chase a hand. <laughs> ah, it's okay. I already got one. It's quite a big hand too. That's funny the job only the hand could achieve. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, anytime we're in that area, the hand jokes are gonna are gonna come flying in. I see it now. I see it now. Oh, well, that's an interesting spawn. I'll take that. Bat! Oh, it's like a sniper, but it's not. Oh! Oh! Wow! Quite the range we got there! That one not as much. That was cool! <laughs> that, was, that was a snipe and a half right there. Hello. I must snipe more. Bap! Nice! Bap! Ha ha ha! The knight of flame and sword is deep. Oh, this guy's brave for just tanking all that. Yeah, that's what I thought was gonna happen. You don't stand in the frenzy flames, my friend. Give him a nice wave. I can walk while I do this. Cool. Cool. Where's the hand cams? <laughs> oh, yeah, the stream always uploads uh, Babius. Or Babius. They become VODs after. Definitely make like a short a highlight video for these as well. Anytime I do invasions, I grab all the like the fun fights and I throw them in a video. Just showing off the build and stuff and talking about it beforehand as well. Uh ooh, I could try that. Uh backstabbing after madness. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's give that a shot. It's a giant. Jeez. Yeah, there's no there's no consistency on it. People either do paper damage or wizards just at half shot me. It's uh it's interesting <laughs> to say the least. Some people have no health, others have all the health. It's it's really interesting to see how people level level their character, you know. Cool. Oh, I missed. You probably can. I'm just still not used to the, I guess, the hitbox of, of backstabs. Well, he, he died before I could get it. <laughs> well, we got to try that on someone else. Do you think you can get out of, get off? I tried earlier, Ollie. I'll try more. I grabbed them, and it does like 9 damage, but I didn't get any animations, you know what I mean? Let's go maybe into the water. Oh, I didn't grab the grace point down there. That is pain. I could come from here. Though. The time to kill, yeah, for sure. It's definitely faster as opposed to DS3, for sure. That's true. You can't have both HP and do ridiculous damage. It's one or the other, and since they are long range, you know... Makes sense, I suppose. 
Hey, what's up, Sin? How goes your day, man? Oh, yeah, Dallas. Yeah, level 90. Uh, fighting the mountaintop area sucked at 50. Like, I mean, 90 is not too different, to be honest. The bosses are just so tanky. Their damage output is crazy. Wait, where am I? I guess your invasion range is a lot further than I thought. I'm, like, up the mountain from where I just was quite a lot. Oh, there's somebody. There's two somebodies. They're hopping around near bushes. Hey, boys. Hello there. Where's your son, Broicus? Oh, he's, he's nearby. Gnosis Amogus. Break that shield first. Chucking some lightning. He's a bit on the tankier side. He thinks he's safe back there. Burn in my frenzied flame. Parkour. Stop throwing shuriken at me. Oh, that stuns you though. Okay, so it doesn't hurt that bad, but it does indeed stun. Bam! Nice. That looked cool. And now his madness meter will already be pretty high. Oh, I wanted the running attack. How does that stamina? <laughs> Things definitely take more stamina in this from what I'm seeing. That's my, like, main notice. Oh, I got sat down out of the air. Oh, that does good damage. Okay. We go here. We parkour. We get full health. His madness must be close. Okay, that seems to stun forever together. They were like constantly stunning me. That was interesting. Doggo. My poor dog. And that's a lot of R1s. Okay, I'm not gonna try to backstab him because our connection seems not the best. I'm out of FP! Damn, that sucks. That probably would have been a good kill. Unfortunate though it was not. Oh, he's laggy. Oh my god. I meant more, oh my god, to the, his teleporting, but everything else is scary too. Ah, yeah, he hits me from so far. Okay, I gotta learn that. He does a lot of damage with that axe. Oh, he's lagged out. Nice. That internet connection, though. I was making it so difficult to deal with. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> GG. Still some laggy ones in here, I guess. They yeah, I like their I like the co oping right there together. That was good. Um, it's really it's really fun. You know, it's not the most balanced. I, it's taking some getting used to because we play Dark Souls 3 so much, but I'm loving it. Oh octopus! <laughs> Octosussy. <laughs> I have a hundred and three poise because of the poise ring I'm wearing. I don't know, Link. I mean, the game just came out. I feel like people want answers to stuff like what's meta, what's the best, what's this best build, but there's like so much in the game. Like no one's going to really have those answers for you right away. You have to tell you have to try everything. Bet you a lot of people still haven't even PVP'd that much. Hello. What is that? That was interesting. Can I get up on this? Thank you. One thing I'm not used to, having to jump when there's a ledge. You just can't roll by it, you know what I mean? So it's interesting. 
to get used to, to say the least. Oh wow, like, we got madness quick. No, that wizard stole my kill. Even when it's my teammate, it's terrible. Okay, he does not hurt. That is the weakest curve greatsword I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, I got bleed very close to being built up here. We gotta yeet us out of here. It's because both their weapons do bleed, I think. I need to roll a bleed proc. Oh, he's laggy too. What's with the sun bros, man? Sun bros be lagging. Oh my god, that is so unfortunate. Actually. Uh, the talisman, it's a bit complicated, but have you found an NPC that asks you for uh, grapes? Which are actually eyeballs, but you know. <laughs> have you seen her? Yeah, I think you find her three times. You give her those grapes. You're going to want to look at a guide, <laughs> I guess. When I was doing my playthrough, I kept happening upon her and I had my grapes. And then I ended it up in the depths of like the underground and I found her and doing a certain something I don't want to spoil gets you this, but yeah. Yeah, the first time you find her is on the way into Lear Learnia. The second, um, by ruins in... Yeah, there's multiple places you find her. Oh, I can't open my menu because someone's near me. Hello. Hello. Man, the angle check is so hard to get. But I have gotten backstabbed, so I can't fully complain. They exist. They definitely exist. Burn in my flames of righteousness. Oh no. I don't want to burn in your axe. I actually, I love this for latent connections. Because no matter what, when they roll it, I'm still bleeding it up. It's huge. He was surviving while his friend did all the work. I see. There we go. Let's try. It doesn't seem like you can get a backstab off that, actually. Kind of seems like they're in an animation and they're kind of immune to it from what I'm looking at. But we can do an R2. That'll do. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. May as well get regen going here in a second. Then I get off my hiney. Didn't expect that. Nice. I knew I'd get him with that bait. He was only running behind me when I was fighting his teammate. <laughs> Fun fight though. Good work. They were they were teaming well. Uh, the running heavy is like a, a lance charge. It's pretty good. Uh, oh yeah, I could equip it. I'd have to go to the tower to get it because I already have Moe's soul. I don't know. Maybe I'll do that next stream. Chad play faking direction. Honestly, you have to, man. The more you play Dark Souls, the more you realize that, like, one of them tries to take your aggro, and the other one will just try to chip you from behind. So, you really gotta play that mind game. That's always helped me. Lyurnia of the Lakes. Oh, God. I love this weapon for the roll catch, though. Like, my God. It's perfect. I just need a weapon that can roll catch. Since there's no combos in, in this game, really. Certain weapon types just aren't for me anymore if I can't roll catch with them. Because people spam roll a lot, you know? It's just, it is what it is. Let's try some wizarding against this wizard. You won't expect it. How'd you like that, Dr. Johnson? I got the snipes too. Can't see you in that bush there. 
Get out. Leave the bush. Tree. Didn't block all of it, but it's okay. Hey, that went through the tree. That's not fair. Dishonest. Oops. No! Hit me. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to heal. <laughs> Maybe I should take those off my hotbar. Damn it. What a pain. There's a blue there now. It got worse in my absence. Hello. I still have to aggress the... Uh, okay, well, this blue is up in my face. But hang on, wizard. Now it's a double wizard fiesta. Nobody wants that. Bap. A lot of wizards going down here. People love their wizarding ways. Oh, another blue! Oh, okay, we're done, I think. Heal? Heal. Nice. I don't even hear them come in, man. They're just like this most silent entrance I've ever seen. <laughs> Hall of Shibiri could be good, yeah. Okay, we're definitely gonna go back a little bit. Get some healing here. Oh wait, why are these always... There we go. Right, I'm looking for a PvE distraction for the wizard, because man, a wizard with two of those when I don't have much FP left, that could get difficult. And there's two wizards, and someone's on my left. Nice. Oh, that hit me though. That wasn't nice. Alright, the blue, I don't mind. Ooh, that I do. Okay. Dodge. Dodge. Get out of- we need to not be in the open when there's two wizard spammers. That is just not the play. We need cover. Hmm. Dodge the wizard. That wasn't a dodge at all. Okay, this is way too open for wizards. It's not getting any less open. <laughs> This wizard's having the time of his life right now. <laughs> Free hit. Nice. There's a mob we can use. This is good. <laughs> I like the blue though. He wants to fight. I appreciate him. Then every two seconds, this, you know. Nice. <laughs> okay, maybe one will get poisoned. Boba Karen. Blue's kind of chillin', honestly. I like the blue. I don't know where the other two are, but I'm kind of in danger if they uh, pop up right now. Nice. That's what we had to do. Okay, we need to get away from the wizard. Wait, why does it look like someone underground? Do you see that? Bam! Nice. 
That's what we needed. All right. All right, now it's me and you, Griffith. What in the... What in the lag? Alright, the wizard's back. Nice. Perfect, boys. Perfect. Now the wizard's alone. Get full health. I don't know how much magic damage this wizard can do. Dun 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 Ah, that was a lot of wizarding. Goodbye, Mr. Wizard. Goodbye, Mr. Wizard. The trials of the lone boy <laughs> and his madness. <laughs> nice, that was good. That was a solid one. Uh, so I in my first playthrough, I ended up going Dex Int, but I started Strength Int. Uh, there were just a lot more Dex Int category weapons. Um, let's go more into here. I like cover from wizards. I know, right? Off, oh, he had so much FP. What the hell? <laughs> wizards, man. There's just, they're endless, man. They're endless. Wizards are timeless. Uh, well, I've landed backstabs. I am Sancho. You just can't use them as much on the ultra, like the certain weapon classes. You can get them, but it has to be on a weapon that has a slow move. Oh, hello there. La His name is Lance, and he's got a lance. Backstabs exist. Hey, Lance. Wait, is that even a lance? What the hell is that? Looks like the, the thinnest lance I've ever seen. And I'm not talking about lance. They're running from the frogs. What even are these? I don't know what they're meant to be. Some type of amphibian. For sure. His name is pretty self-explanatory. For sure. Smack! Smack! Oh, you can get a roll attack in there. That's a good mix-up. I love that that builds it up even when he's like spam rolling. I just need to get close enough. Nice. Bam! Wow, oh, that guy was very not tanky. Die to my madness. Nice. Yeah, so when they're in that madness animation, you cannot get a backstab. It doesn't even give you the grab because they're like doing an animation, I suppose. They're already in like a form of a, a crit or like animation. Uh, no, I made a new starting class, Nino, you know, with a uh, Vagabond because my bleed build was a, uh, a bandit. This one's actually done more than the bandit one. It's, it's beaten basically every major boss but the end game one because I don't need to kill the final boss. So I can get everything. Ah, yeah, I, I use the default PS4 controller settings, yeah. I do. Ooh, power stancing these. That would require a lot of weight load, I guess. I'd have to be higher. This is working really well, though. We're hitting, like, up so many different areas. We can try uh, maybe the Aldous Plateau again. Sakura. I'm having a ton of fun with the Elden Rings uh, PvP because it's very different than Dark Souls 3 and I played Dark Souls 3 for like 5 years, 6 years I guess, you know? So it's nice to have a change. Do I rematch my touchpad through Steam so you can use it as the menu button? I do, yes, because start was that for me the whole time I played Dark Souls 3. I can't un-get used to that. 
Uh, Sharky. So yeah, I guess that's not just default. I use touchpad as start. Sharky, thank you so much, man. Uh, shout out to my beautiful wife, Erica, who's watching now. Oh, does she also enjoy the Soul series? Nice. You guys can play together. That's sick. Thank you, Sharky. I appreciate that. And I wish I had a coffee. <laughs> I, am, I, I need to make one after. Uh, the name for most of the armor set is Sophie, the Veterans the Armor. Wizards. And then uh, the Bullgoat Greaves. Erica. Veterans Gauntlets. Millennia Helm. For her. I love you, beans. <laughs> Thank you, man. Millennia was the hardest boss you fought. Uh, I, people ask me that. I was stuck on her for uh, three hours, but I was also using a really light weapon that didn't stun her. The second I changed to like a halberd, I beat her first try. I'd have to fight all the bosses again to say, but it was the boss I was the longest stuck on. But then when I changed my weapon, um, I beat her first try with the new weapon so it's hard to say maybe fighting her with certain setups just makes her a lot easier I'm running the wrong way I know I'm, I'm reading comments and I forgot there's a compass leave me alone <laughs> I will get better at it I promise I'll look up first damn I wonder oh there oh there's an invader here I'm coming bro I don't get co-op invaders ever Wait, what? Oh, he just invaded. Okay. The fields with no horse. <laughs> yeah. At least we got the compass. Wait, where the... Oh, man. I... Survive, Red. I promise. We will win. <laughs> Run away from the ice. I see they have ice stomp. I'll take that one. Kavath, run. Run, you fool. You're dead. You're dead. Sakura! What, is it just Sakura? Oh, and what do you think the primary level It's not just soccer. It's the double ice stomp brothers. Oh, why are they always kind of laggy? That's the only sad thing. I wish there was less souls issues with like lag in general. We're gonna go somewhere where they don't have like full visual of me when they have two storm stomps. Wow, that was the weird, like the best dodge I've ever seen, honestly. He, like, predicted my punish. Jump. Ice Stomp pretty strong. That's why they want to stay out in the open for sure. Hello there, Sakura. You're the host, right? My dear. It's going to be a very different story when you don't have your brother here to help you. Very different. I'll take on whatever one need be. Look at them just trying to double storm stomp. You little cheesers. Wait, I didn't hit him with my spear through his face. Hold up. Okay, that time there was a hit confirmation. That's good. a little harder without your brother, isn't it? It is. Oh, he had to come help you. Oh, how cute. How cute. <laughs> Your storm stomp will not stop me, weakling. Let's see how long you survive 2v1. Oh, five seconds, huh? <laughs> GG, Mr. Red. GG, man. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. Oh, it didn't damage me, Marcus? Damn. Did it not? I thought it did. I'd have to go back and look. Or in favorite build so far. Um, Man, I've only really PvP'd with two weapons. Not even two builds. Like, uh, two weapons. <laughs> Out of the two, though, I think I prefer this to the Katana. Uh, if that helps you. I, I do enjoy the, the spear more. I can roll catch with it better. The madness seems really useful for proccing really bad connections. Um, yeah, I think I like this more than the katana. The frostbite proc missed. Yeah, see, that's the issue with frostbite and bleed, man. You can, you can proc it, but the damage can be dodged. 
Oh, true. The katana was weaker than it should be, Jing. You're right. You're right. Arcane scaling is bad right now. Not, sorry, not bad. Doesn't exist, so. <laughs> like, it'll be better. What makes it more enjoyable? So I prefer that it stuns enemies easily with a, like a running attack. Uh, it lets me roll catch when people are just panic rolling away from me, trying to escape me. So if I know they're going to do that, I can stun them. That's actually one of the biggest reasons I like the spear, I think. The weapon art for the katana is awesome. I love it. But it is hard to catch people that just roll spam. Having a weapon that has like a good stun that I can just like whoop, roll catch if they keep spam rolling is huge. For me anyway, because of the way I play, I'm pretty aggressive. I don't... If I'm alone with someone for a second, like I'm usually just full aggression. The running R2 is good, it is, but I see that some armors can like kind of poise it and get out of it by just running, so... I don't know. I'll try I'll try running R2 more though. I'll try it. Four arrows! My nightmare! But worse! When did when did Elden Ring make lightning arrow even more powerful? Oh, that's damage. That is indeed a lot of damage. Oh, and there's there's artillery. I see the host lurking there. Hang on. I see him fucking trying to get close. We're in quite the battlefield here. Okay, I don't like how that can that hit me. I wonder. <laughs> can hit him though. That's good. Another one was summoned. Where was he summoned, though? Oh my god! That's crazy. That's actually kind of crazy. Yeah, we're gonna use trees. The natural enemy of wizards everywhere. How did he do so many of those? That was crazy. Pillars are your ally when wizards exist. Trees are very nice. I see you. Yeah, you like that? You like my tree d dodging? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm scared. I don't know this area. What's happening? Cover from the balls, I guess? Get him. Oh my god, it's Melania. But worse. Come here, Ronin. Man, we suck. You jump attacked, I run attacked. Taste my madness. I'll try the R2 now. He's gonna run away from us, I think. What would you suggest to someone wanting to get into PvP? Oh, you're right. You're running R2 is good. But... Sort of. Oh, he gave up. <laughs> He's like, well, my carry is dead. Good fight, though, boys. Very fun fight. I enjoyed it. Um, what would you suggest to someone wanting to get into PvP? Never been good at it, but wanted to do more for Elden Ring. Um, well, you can look up, like, uh, I don't know how early the people are going to have, like, build guides out, but learning, like, how your stats scale with weapons is important. So, let's say, I'll, I'll give you Dark Souls 3 examples for just reference, because I'm not sure on Elden Ring's current stat spread, but uh, before strength, dex uh, would usually cap around 40. So you'd start to get diminishing returns for 40 to 60 dex or strength, but it was still worth it if you were going to main one of the stats. So when you make a build, you want to have a good health pool, for one, unless you plan on being a super squishy, uh, high damage, like one-shot type build. But that's like, you can one-shot, but you can be one-shot. Never my favorite. I don't find those fights the most interesting. So a health pool is nice. Um, after that, you want to pick one or two main stats for your damage output. So for me, like as this build levels up, it would be dexterity and faith. 
and you want to get those roughly even usually depending on the type of weapon you're using. So mine's more dex scaling than faith as you can see right there. C in dex, D in faith. So I would, I would main dex first, but I have more faith right now for my spells. But looking at build guides, looking at how people make stats helps a lot. Um, finding out what type of weapons you enjoy the most, definitely important. Everyone likes a different play style, so it's hard. I enjoy like weapons that are medium speed that stun. I guess that's the best way that I could explain my Dark Souls preferred types as well. I liked great swords. Um, I like something that stunned pretty well. Wasn't the fastest, but wasn't the slowest. I like like in-between weapons. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure you can look on the map and look at... Oh, yeah, PvP hotspots. Um, there wasn't really anything like this in DS3, uh, Philip. Like, it did nothing that, like, stunned you like that and kept you standing there for a second. It's very different, for sure. That's why I wanted to try that. The bleed looked really cool with all the weapon arts. Frostbite just seems like it does really high damage, so... No, when you make a character, you have to... Whatever your highest level has been and your weapon level, they are locked in. You cannot... Um, go lower in level. I guess kind of dying on his own to the to the frenzied flame. I guess. Oh, is he doing that? No, he's not. <laughs> Wait, can I live this fall? Jeez, I almost jumped right off. Do I miss the long sword? No, <laughs> I don't miss the long sword. <laughs> I quite enjoy that there's less straight swords used here. Wait, oh, I have to go around the village to get out of it. Damn. Oh. These guys are all frenzied. Nice. I am enjoying it a lot, yeah. I'm loving it for now. <laughs> Nothing too game break. Well, there's probably some issues with it, but, like, I'm loving it. Yeah, the the no true combos is taking some getting used to, um, but I'm I'm enjoying it. Is he just sitting up there? Or did he come down? Oh, he's down. Wait, this is the wizard we killed earlier. Do you remember him? He was like the full team wizard, but now he's alone. Alone wizard. Oh man. Wizards tend not to have that high health. I love this weapon art though. Very cool looking. I think I'm gonna go for the flashiest weapons first, just for fun, to be honest. I haven't. I only have one Vike Spear at the moment, Malice. I tried. They, every time I hit them with it, it doesn't grab them, Cypher. I've tried, man. I've tried. I don't know why or what I'm doing. Maybe we can try... Um... Somewhere in the Altus Plateau, maybe? I could try the Highway Junction. It might be a little low level for that. I don't know when people go there, but... I don't know if Souls Planner or Mugen Monkey work yet, where you can, like, compare stats of your build and stuff. I think this is more like 65 area. Probably. We'll try it out, though. Definitely a later game area, but we'll see how we do. Oh, they're up there. Oh my god, they're going towards the, t the twin horsies. <laughs> I don't know if there's a way to farm larval tiers. I found like 11 in my playthrough. I don't know, though. Hey. I know sometimes L2, it can be life. But there is still R1. R1 still exists. He's gonna get madness build up during one of his rolls. Yeah. Bap! Gotta get more aggressive, homie. Oh, you got a teammate there. <laughs> you were trying to lead me to him. I see, I see. Oh, that's really high latency. Ooh. That explains a lot. Oh, I didn't think that would hit me.
Destructo disc. <laughs> Pretty funny. Okay, let's get this going. You just guard that with that. Oh. Pretty cool. There's a blue down there as well now. Oof. Hello. Man, this guy is uh, on the laggy side. Hope he hit him. That's fine. The blue's gonna get super aggressive. We'll kill the blue first. He seems to not want to... Oh, oh my weapon hits the floor here. Very interesting. Okay, so we got Ultraman behind me. That one's got lightning. Let's dodge that. We're gonna hit him here. And maybe try to roll catch him. Interesting choice. That was a good, great arrow shot. Thank you. Thank you, fellow NPC. Perfect. Wow. Wait, hold up. That was some intriguing timing for that blue to do that. Right when he's about to die. Yeah, I don't know why I would go for that, but it's okay. Holy R1s, brother. That was like seven with an ultra. I really gotta learn the stamina difference, I guess. That was crazy. Oh. Well, they didn't have the stabilist connection, to be honest, so that, that makes a lot of sense, I guess. <laughs> I can't stress enough the, the importance of the Ethernet. The Ethernet is important. Did I host at Carla Manor? I did not. I haven't tried hosting at all yet, uh, Frere. I've just been invading. How does PvP scaling? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean, like how the damage is different versus PvP versus PvE. I don't really know how to explain that. <laughs> I haven't really tested. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know it's also the, the game's connection. I like to make that meme with the Ethernet cord, regardless. I just want more Ethernet out there, you know. Ethernet is good. I tried that uh, cipher. Actually, I think I couldn't grab them because of that. I don't think you can jump from the uh, madness uh, animation into any crit or grab. That would make a lot of sense why my thing kept not working. Oh. This way. Uh, madness isn't the best from PV from what I've, I've done. I reallocated my dex int into this. I was using dex int first. Luma. Uh, okay. So you want me to fight Luma or Andrea? I don't know if you guys are trying to 2v1, 1v1, like what? What's going on here? Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, right. I guess we're not doing any honor fight here. That's fine. I just wanted to know what they wanted. They both seem to really be doing that. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Andrea. They're really confusing. <laughs> I like that it builds up through shields though. That's freaking huge. Oh, I poised that running attack. Damn. Didn't poise that though. So that's that's important to know. Jump attacks, not really poisable. Yeah. Nice. Interesting fight. 
I guess. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, it, it's weird. I don't know if all the enemies can be madness proct or not. Bleed works, frostbite works, but sometimes I wasn't getting any on any of the enemies, so it's it's hard to say. Is there an item that negates madness? I'm not sure. I haven't really faced an enemy that was using a lot of madness to worry about it. <laughs> I guess. Probably. There's like the bolluses that are like the bleed and stuff. I bet you you can craft like the madness ones. Oh, they only affect human enemies. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. That does make a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense now. This area seems to have less teams. More like one and two. I think uh, Liernia is really cool for like threes. I'll have to try out more of the other areas later. Maybe we'll do Kaled uh, next stream with a different build. Oh, that would have been so cool, dude. Oh, that would have been sick. <laughs> Very disappointing. <laughs> you gotta play an arrow. Arrow in the back, not the way. Yo, I actually love these. I need to remember to use the spells more. They do eat up my FP a little bit, but they are a lot of fun. Oh, you're lucky my snipe missed you. my ally you leave him alone we stand back to back me and the knight are warriors we are one you dare leave him be he's my ally no knight I tried to save you homie I tried I tried my best. Nice. <laughs> the madness continues. Get your ass back here. Get your ass back here. Where are you going? Where are you going? Stop looking back. Of course I'm coming. Following that ass. I ain't going nowhere. Okay, we're, gonna, we're gonna get Estus. I mean blue Estus here because we can then snipe him when he runs from us, you know? As he's going to. I love the wolf theme. Yeah. Knock down. Roll, baby, roll. I'm chasing him, bro. I'm doing it. I'm doing the chase, the bro.
Nice. The sniper finish. Yeah. I like that. Uh, I did try to grab after proccing the madness. <laughs> he was running into the little wall. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you could definitely try. Uh, yeah, you could do wield as well if you get two of these. I guess the casting is very fun, though. I actually am enjoying the the madness procs. It's really cool. Favorite build? I've only used two out of the bleed or this one. Uh, this one can can do some work with the stuns. The bleed has better burst damage, I guess, is the best way for me to explain it. But this can do awesome things as well. Like that. That is one of the awesome things it can do. I'm stuck in a tree, but I'm pretty sure he's dead. Filthy wizard! <laughs> Let's get this going quick. How did I kill endgame bosses at level 57? With great determination and lots of my time. <laughs> and the ice stomp. The ice stomp I have to attest to lots of my winning boss fights. Oh! We've gotten a blue into the mix. Alright, I gotta watch out. That one guy's got the Night Flame Sword and it does a lot of damage. One's a wizard now. Yeah, my finger hurts quite a lot right now. Oof. Needs to be cracked. Okay. Hame hame ha! The, the blue isn't afraid. He seems to be okay with fighting wherever. I like that. I just want cover from the wizard. The wizard seems like he's gonna do some some quite hefty damage to me. It always it always ends up with this this running. <laughs> the other guys booked it. <laughs> they booked it, man. I will follow them though. I have a compass. I'm on the prowl. I'm I'm loving the PvP man. Like it's very different. It is different, but I'm enjoying it a lot. Chase fighting the Kamehameha with the Dodon Ray, right? true! <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That's gotta use the spell. Man, they are they are going. They're hauling ass. They didn't even help the blue. They were like, yeah, fuck this. I I wonder if they know I have a compass. Yeah, they get their own music theme. Like it's it's just such a nice add-on, man. It's such a good, it's a good addition. Where are they going? They're still fucking running. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna they're gonna find a horde of enemies. Is what they're gonna find. can lock onto them and they'll start losing stamina regen. We'll target the sun bro first. I'm not losing stamina because they haven't looked at me or noticed me. <laughs> they don't realize the flaw in this plan. It's like, no! I've been separated! <laughs> Stan! <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help! <laughs> yes, there you go. I'm not going anywhere. Better you realize that sooner than later. There you go. You're doing much more damage by fighting. Look. You had no chance by running away, but now now you have a chance. Nope, we return to the, the old tactics. It's hard to get away from the, the, the new ways. Oh, that would have been such a cool backstab, actually. Disappointed. What's behind me? Holy shit! That's a giant.
<laughs> the next build is a machine gun. No, no. I actually want fights. I don't like using any glitches early like that. But that needs to be patched for sure. I don't even think they know where they're going. They're just going. I have no idea. <laughs> Boys. Could be could be end this shroud. It's much more fun to actually participate in your own game. And here we go. Off to the races. Wait, oh, this is the quit out, right? This is when the quit out happens, yeah. Those type will do that. A hundred percent. But it's okay, because we made it happen, and that's all that matters. <laughs> oh, is it starting to pick up Abyss? Nice, that's good. I have a friend who's sitting at 120 and he still doesn't say, he says he doesn't get a lot. Um, same with, what are you at Timbo? You're at 100 and you said it's picking up slowly. That's great. I can start making some more high damage builds. I mean, I mean yeah, I don't know, Elden Ring is so new, just have fun with it. I don't get, I don't really don't get the alt F4 mindset, man. It's just a game. It's the fun of it. 100 is starting to be nice. Nice. I think I'll go 70 or 80 tomorrow then. We will just skip 20 levels. John Bloodborne. I'll fight your teammate. You're like half health. I'll have mercy here. I know, dude, Curtis, man, people were disconnecting during the network test. I, I'll never understand it. It's just a game, man. Just enjoy it, you know? Oh, I guess the bow is good. Hello, Mr. Bones. How are you? It's it's crazy, honestly. You think the people that signed up for the network test would want the PvP, you know? <laughs> you think? That's not the way it works, though. This thing has some good roll catch potential. The Moon Veil definitely does a lot of damage, so you really gotta watch out for that weapon art. Um, yeah. That's all I really have to say about the katana. It's very good though. I did find it in my playthrough and I liked it a lot. The madness buildup is very nice on this. Th oh, okay. This does a lot more crit damage. Oh yeah, I forgot if they, if they have madness when they die, they just get up and do the madness. I know. The whole point of the network test was to test the network. <laughs> they wanted to do PvE, I guess. Very special. Hello, Bloodborne. This weapon art is also extremely cool. The madness buildup on it is great. I wish you could get a backstab off that, but you can't. Fun fight, boys. Very awesome. Uh, yeah, it's really hard to say. Everybody keeps asking like what soul level will be meta, but uh, my guess was like 130 to 150, just because I capped myself from leveling above 130 in my playthrough. And there were like eight, nine bosses that I fought after doing so. And I had millions of souls. I literally bought 40 of every upgrade material on my first character. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it's probably higher since the average person will level to like that in their first playthrough. 125 at Lanedale. Yeah, see, Lanedale isn't even, you know, the end game area. So, well, I guess it is, but you come back to it like, yeah. The sleep build. Is sleep an infusion, or do we just have sleep on the arrows? I haven't seen that yet. Excuse me. Yeah, I think I think Arcane is bugged. Um, you know, I don't think... It, has it been officially stated anywhere? I don't think so. But all the scaling letters are on the weapons, and it gets no scaling damage, so... Oh, there's a sleep weapon art. That's pretty cool. I enjoy that. Honestly, the stat procs are pretty fun. 
My, uh, other than the death one. We could, we could do without the death stat proc. That, <laughs> that doesn't seem like it's going to end well. You can get sleep grease. Ooh. I've been using all the uh, somber weapons. Oops, the compass is this way. So I haven't been able to buff them. Yeah, Arcane is bugged, yeah. Well, both the Katana that I tried using first and the Twin Blade, like the Ilianora. Ah, so it is supposed to have scaling. See, that's good. That was our guess. I just, I haven't, I, I haven't had any confirmation on it, so I didn't know for sure. Makes sense, though. Because while uh, its bleed rate is very high and very good, its damage was potato. I was doing like 90, 90 damage a hit. It wasn't optimal at all, but we did work. We made it work because the bleed rate is so high. This thing, though, this thing is a monster for roll catching when you get the timings down. The stun is great. I'm loving it. Ooh, and it procs in like three to four hits. Very good, actually. I wonder what the flat damage rate is of the uh, the madness. Doesn't really say, does it? Maybe it's like a percentage. Yeah, luck did use to scale for these in the past, so I guess, yeah, arcane is basically that. It's going to be for those type of builds. Yeah, I think all of them are percent based, right? None of them are flat. Ice seems percent as well. Ice seems pretty strong too. I've been enjoying it uh, from my playthrough. I didn't PvP with it yet though. The point of bleed damage is low damage. Yeah, stiff, but like it's extremely low. Like, like... You, like there would be no point in using that katana right now above like its base level because it gets no scaling at all from any of the stats that it's supposed to so that's what we mean by the scalings glitched hello cavi a wizard man you didn't change your armor the whole you know what i didn't get much armor either i got my vagabond set and then this set is like a guaranteed set you get from killing the commander boss so i can't really say hey you didn't change his set wizards as always wizards Ooh, wizards do damage. I could strafe those, but I was kind of already in like a not strafing moment. Yes. You know what? It might be worth to like pop on the uh, anti-magic ring when fighting a wizard. Am I heavy like this? No. That's what I wanted to know. I wonder how much it actually does. Okay, well, we'll aggress the wizard since this one's chilling. Dodge. <laughs> Hey, wizard. We're baiting him hard just by running at his wizard. It's awesome. Ooh, he does get damage, though. Oh! Okay. The jump attacks are interesting. I've been, like, slowly learning the jumping out ones. They're pretty good. Uh, okay, I guess I frame the end of that. Yaw! Trying to like just get the proc off on him so we can finish him. Nice. Nice. I love that it slowly builds up even during the roll so we can just whoop. I love how the wizard's not doing anything. <laughs> He's just existing there. Do a running attack, yeah. Definitely more methodical, because we don't have burst damage. He's got quick step just to dodge me. That's funny. Is he actually? I don't think he's even gonna fight, to be honest. The wizard, he's just there out of FP, surviving now at this point. I'm gonna get them with a bait uh, weapon art watch. Good trade. Bad trade there though. Jump attack maybe? No. Okay, he still has FP. I thought he was out of FP. Dodge off sound and sound alone. Okay, now he seems to be out of FP. I'll take all the wizard damage to kill this guy.
<laughs> I'll read that in two seconds. Nice. <laughs> okay. All right, Kavi. The entire strat is unfolded. Come back here. Why does it always devolve into this with the wizards, man? <laughs> oh, man. At least you can, like, crouch to gain some stamina back. That's, like, something, I guess. Otherwise, they would just run for infinity. My god. Open world. My dude. My wizard friend. Alright. Goodbye, Mr. Wizard. Goodbye. <laughs> Run for the hills. That's all I think of when I see that. Uh, but Philip, yo, thank you so much, man. Why is Horfrost Dom so damaging to enemies? Well, because it builds up Frostbite while also having good damage output. So even on bosses, when you use it, you Frostbite them, that lowers their absorption. So at following hits hurt while they're Frostbite as well. So it just keeps, you know, that process going. It's very good, honestly. It helped me beat most of the game at level 50. Like, fighting Morgoth at level 50, that helped a lot. I needed that damage increase. Um, let's go back to Liurnia. I think it has the most, like, blues and stuff getting summoned, it seems. Maybe Church of Kuku or the other area? Any good fire-themed? I've seen a few fire Ashes of War. I'm really going to look on the wiki um, for what, what's been found for all the Ashes of War. Because I only found a few fire ones. Yeah, well, I didn't beat the final boss, but like, I, I passed Morgoth and went to the mountains and stuff. That's how I have it, Estus and stuff. Uh, Rogue. After streams, uh, I've just been like slowly collecting things for PvP builds for the streams. So I'm just going through the areas slowly. Hello there. That'll be an interesting one. Go. Up attack. Followed by, you know what, this might be good. I feel like he doesn't have the most stamina. Definitely in a panic. <laughs> the magic rail gun. <laughs> it never stops. See, we can't backstab those really easily. That would be awesome. That'd be the best. We'll just ignore the wizard and we'll catch this guy. Perfect. So it takes about like four roll catches to do that to somebody. I'm gonna jump heavy on this. Oh, that was some hefty damage. I like how they double die. What really happens funny. if a team uses dragon breath with the frenzy beams? Oof. Yeah, the AoE could be huge to run with three-man teams. Man, three dragons would be terrible as well. <laughs> like, there's so much potential for that kind of stuff. <laughs> madness deaths are classy. Uh, it's just like a, a madness build, so I have my madness stuff here. And the spear also builds madness. I think absorption is really making a huge difference. I'd have to test. I'm going to maybe get lost or someone. Uh, on PC to hit me a bunch of times with and without absorption, like certain amounts of it. I fought several three-man Dragon Frenzy teams. It's miserable. Yeah, the range is crazy. I don't know how much FP it takes, because honestly, when you level FP in this, it, it definitely is quite less FP you gain in return than like Dark Souls 3, but the Dragon Breath is crazy. <laughs> I fought one in here, and the Scarlet Rot just like covers the whole area. It's It's pretty crazy. How do you make builds so quick? I thought I'm not making them quick, man. I played this character for 19 hours. That's not quick. <laughs> Dark Souls 3, I can make a build in like a couple hours. Just run through the game. This, I think I ran through the game in like 14 hours. Not, I didn't kill all the bosses. When I say run through the game, you might be like thinking I fight everything. But no, like I fight the main bosses that unlock the talisman slots. And the ones that give me the golden seeds. So I don't have to go everywhere. I just go to where I get my weapon. And I go to where I get the key items that I need for my PvP build. Uh, as long as you have FP, you can... Okay, you can deplete the full bar. Ah, I haven't touched the dragon stuff yet. I know it scales off Faith and Arcane, so I guess it needs investment in both. Oh, wait, I'm dumb. Compass, man, Chase. Use the compass, Jesus. <laughs> Forget the compass exists. <laughs> Every time. Ah. 
Uh, I've only ever gotten four, and I did complete the final boss. So unless like there's hidden bosses that give you talismans, which I kind of don't think there is, uh, since there's no like fifth armor slot here, it kind of looks clean with the armor to have four. Dark Souls three had four. Fuck. Are they above me? Oh, they're up there. Hey! 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 Gray feats in Asher Dunheim. Alright, after. Oh, okay, so we don't have enough poise to tank one greatsword hit. Hyper armor on that. Nice. Oh, nice. Okay, well. That's like Swords Dance, right? That's basically the follower saber. That hurts, actually, on a Claymore. I wonder if you can put that on an Ultra. Okay, so counterattacks do more poise damage. Okay. Oh, he's madness in the air. Oh my god. It actually procced midair. Wow. Wow, Blue. Way to come in at the last second there, Moses. What the hell? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I tried 130 two days ago. Um, I didn't get any invasions, but that was two days ago. Maybe people are starting to catch up in the hundreds. A few people in chat told me they have been getting soul level 100 ones fairly often. Maybe not as consistent as this level because everyone's here at the very least, but I'll move up to maybe 80 tomorrow. I'm just trying out all the levels first. Zane, Dragon Scales mainly off the caster's tool. Dragon ah. Scales mainly off the caster's tool. So Dragon will scale mostly off faith. Etc. Et yeah, so the arcane is just kind of like the requirement for it. Yeah, I haven't actually tried a will. I mean, mm, I did a dex in playthrough, but I didn't use any of the magic. I used my, my sword's abilities, so... Those were more, they were high damage though. Like the Moon Veil was a little bit on the strong side. I do have to say that was pretty tough. Uh, let's go back to the water. Ah oh, yeah, sure. Here's the stats. Actually, I can try to invade first and then show you the stats. Uh, in the giant mountain area, Magnus, right? Yeah, that's probably the only way I think I could find any right now. I don't know what... I'd have to go watch my own playthrough and see what level I was in certain areas. And maybe make some builds for that. Because I do want to invade Mount Gelmir. But it's optional. And, like, I don't know what level people go there at. This... I bet you the, the capital's, like, 90 to 100, huh? That sound about right? You're, like, 50-ish here. 40 to 50. 60 maybe up here if you take this progression. I did Kaelid like basically when I did the capital, so I was like 90 or 100, I think, from the looks of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. The scaling on weapons only gets good once you um, upgrade the weapon. Like, the scaling for most weapons improves quite a lot. You've been getting constant invasions in the entire game at 80. Ooh, that might be a good base, honestly. Because, like, I bet you people return to Liurnia often. You know, there's the, the Belfries, and then you have the Warp Point here, and then you have the, the Castle. 80 would be nice for my stat spread. <laughs> Could give me more damage, to be honest. This thing's, like, not the highest damage on its running attack. The, the madness is carrying it at this level, for sure. Uh, what upgrade? Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure on how to balance the upgrades either. Um, at, at level 80, what, what level did you guys have your weapon at? Mine's at 60. My build's like 60 right now with plus 4 somber, which is, uh, I guess, 10 for doing the math. Yeah, plus 5 somber at 80. That That's probably good. I'm probably going to jump up by somber per like 15, 20 levels. That would make sense for the progression up to like 130, I guess. 4 here, maybe like... 5 at like 75 and up. You're level 70 and you have a plus 10 normal weapon? Uh, Temran or uh, or plus 10 somber? That's very different. <laughs> Hello, Hyperidge. What's up, man? Ah, uh, shield pokes. Okay. Let's see. He wants to shield poke trade. That's probably wizard! You colorblind? He was dead, wizard! You ruined it! <laughs> Man, I don't even like wizards when they're my teammates. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'll fight the blue. You you go up here. No, no, you stole my fight, bro. You stole my fight. Where's the blue? 
Why not blue compass? Get your own roll catches. <laughs> okay. Where is this blue, dude? This this red though, he has no idea that he's being out traded. He was just, he literally knows R1. Wisest invader I've ever seen. It doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> Nice, and that knocks them down. That's like one of the biggest selling points, honestly. I wonder, can you get guard broken in this with your shield poke? I have more range though, so I'm not too worried about it. I wonder if you can backstab the shield poke. Hmm, not really, sadly. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Charge this heavy. Bap! Get a free heal. Yo, Chase. Long time no see. Been a while since I caught a stream. You playing on PC or still on PlayStation? Uh, I'm on PC. <laughs> also nice. <laughs> Way to come in and steal the glory. <laughs> that was my kill. Uh, just Uni. Thank you so much. But yeah, I play on PC. For me, uh, the Shadow Play recording software. Makes the, the quality of my recordings look a lot better than if I used a, a capture card personally. The tracking is too good. I know. It is, it's interesting. You know, the shield poke wasn't half bad as a strat. I haven't seen one yet. I haven't seen that yet. Are Recusant and Bloody Fingers the same? I have the same question. <laughs> Does one have any bonuses the other doesn't? I know that... Getting the, the recusant finger apparently turns your eyes red. Oh man, you can't like zoom in on the camera with objects that easily. But because I did the dark fire ending, my eyes are actually like uh, the madness eyes. I thought that was fitting though for the build, so I don't mind it at all. Think a little orange. Yeah, the recusant is the one from uh, the mask, the white mask, right? Correct. And then you get the, the bloody one from the volcano manor. I've just been using the recusant one. Sith eyes. Yeah, so if you get the the recusant one, it makes your eyes red, but I think doing the ending thing that I did gets my eyes orange. I think you can disable it as well. Oh, it's the other way around? Oh, okay. <laughs> recusant Volcano Manor. That makes a lot of sense. Recusant is Volcano. Okay, I gotta get that and try that out, actually. I'll try that for next stream. I'll just go grab it. I'm lazy. Stormvale. I feel like I'm a little high for Stormvale, but I don't know how the matchmaking works, so. Hmm, Ultra. Woo. You gotta really get good with the one in and one out method here, I swear, because there's no combos. Unless you have like high poise and you're not fighting an Ultra. I find Spears very helpful. A bow! Oh, <laughs> nice butt scratch. I love that they kept that in. Movement is key. Move it or lose it. Nice. Bat! When you jump! <laughs> I straight up just left him. He's like a... Okay, he's not hitting very hard though. That's for sure. I think he'll attack eventually. <laughs> Tried to get a backstab. Uh, I was gonna go for that, but you actually have to be like more precise with where you're standing when you go for the backstab now. The angle check is, is a little bit... It's iffy. I can pivot an ultra, but they have to swing twice. I can't get the first one easily. Although my poise is, is definitely working well, because the katana is not stunning me, so... My poise level is very beneficial. Ah, uh, I missed the reverse backstabs in Dark Souls 3. 
But it's okay. We can get regular ones here, I suppose. Just gotta be uh, smart with it. Oh, my regen is actually doing so well right now. Damn, I don't even need to use the Estus. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. The second swing is easier to grab with a backstab on, for sure. The first swing angle is weird. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Moonvale is Moondex Int, mostly. I wonder if it favors Dex or Int at full level. wonder how many wizards will be rocking that versus uh, the Moonlight. Uh, I think, yeah, elements play a role, I'm told, that like lightning will do better when it's raining. I haven't experienced it because I haven't done a, 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 a lightning build, but... Oh yeah, like dual wield it, Andy? You could definitely do that, yeah. A moon veil favors int in the end? Okay. So it would be, it would be good on a full int build then. Okay. Um, what's this? We never... Have I invaded the Belfry area? I don't know. No, it does take FP, but not when you're in... So, sorry, it always takes FP. Stamina isn't consumed unless you're in combat. Let's see. Uh, I started as a, a Vagabond. Lightning does do more damage. Yeah, I know in DS3 it did AoE damage, so like... Interesting. Yeah, the lance seems good. Definitely. Definitely has hyper armor, so that's cool. Oh. Going near the Belfries brings me... Okay. Now the weapon takes FP. Of course it takes FP. I can only use the weapon art, I think, three times with my FP bar. What am I wearing as a ring right now? Oh, I've had this ring on the whole time. Wow. They're definitely below me, right? Yeah. Over there. Yeah. Down we go. Uh, I play with a PS4 controller. Always been a fan of the PS4. Power stance whips. I think we can make this jump. Screw it. Wow, no fall damage. I'm still not used to that. That is crazy. The lack of fall. <laughs> they died on their own. The lack of fall damage compared to like Dark Souls is so crazy. I know. I'll like, I think my horse is safe to jump and then I full die. But then sometimes I can live without my horse and I'm just like, what in the hell? <laughs> like, I don't even have a use for the cat ring anymore. Like... I don't know, like, it's either I take no fall damage or I die, like. Yeah, there's a cat ring. I, yeah, I have it in my inventory. I never need to use it, so. I don't know. Definitely interesting. Uh, why is there no live replay? Uh, it will be. It, it gets saved when I'm done streaming. Always. The VODs just go to, like, past live streams or I have them in a folder. Hello, man. How are you? Come on. That bubble. I don't know why, but it just like confuses me a little bit. That'll chip the bubble away. I don't know how good that is in, in actual PvP, because the bubble seems to, I don't know, get broken by someone using a throwing knife. Moon Veil. The Lunar Veil arts. That'll probably do a lot of damage. It's okay, if he keeps doing those late rolls, we'll uh, get a proc. Yeah, there we go. What? This thing can be very aggressive, which I love. It has the power. And hyper armor, apparently. Oh, he's dead. Jeez. Yeah, that off a of heavy. Strong. Very strong. Yeah, the bubble breaks instantly. Yeah, like even my flame doing like one damage right there broke it. I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to use that bubble. 
There's also, uh, do I have it on this character? It's uh, a flask that says that you, you heal the amount of damage you've taken. I tried that in a boss fight, <laughs> and it didn't heal me at all. And I was like, are the next hits going to heal me, or what's going on here? I think it was called, like, the Crimson something. Yeah, the Madness deaths are pretty, pretty violent. I used the bleed build first, uh, Kaneki. It worked really well, but uh, all the arcane weapons currently, at least the ones that I've seen that have bleed and fire damage and a few others, the arcane scaling just doesn't work, so. Even actually, there was a great sword called the Mirai Executioner Sword, I believe, that I found in the uh, in the poison area up here. Yeah, it, it scales off arcane, only like a D or a C, but it's got B scaling and strength, and it currently has no scaling damage, so. That's what really convinced me that they're, they're meant to have scaling. That, that greatsword would be terrible without it. Like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't have a stat proc. It's mostly a strength weapon. So, yeah. Oh, this way. Yeah, the weapon has a great weapon art. That's why I wanted to use it. <laughs> ah, too late. <laughs> Gonna take a little bit of getting... Oh, this guy did not level HP. He's all Oonga Boonga. Oonga Boonga, not enough. Man, you gotta like get right up in there. The roll, I think, too much takes too much time. You have to pivot. This thing is hyper aggressive, though. I wonder if I can roll catch with a jumping catch. Ah. I don't know how to time that if they panic roll. There we go. That's something. I guess great spears in general, though, probably aren't the best tool to use for that reason. I thought he'd do another one for the jump attacks. A little bit of madness build up. I love those bats, by the way. <laughs> I was looking for an NPC the first time I went near one, and I was like, what? <laughs> ah, damn. Thank you. You weren't kidding about how strong Horfrost is just killed Godfrey by only stomping. I told you, Philip. Yeah, man. It's very strong. <laughs> He's just gonna... <laughs> I'll pawn him off to kill the blue. <laughs> I don't know why was there a blue waiting there just like so randomly. Oh, hey. Jump iframes. Hey, another blue. Damn. Heavy popping in here. <laughs> Man, they, they come in so silently. Unless I don't read, which is a possibility. <laughs> uh, Phil, thank you so much, though, man. You just. I think that blue was AFK, to be honest. Uh, obviously. <laughs> Something ahead. Oh. Yeah, it does slow you down, but it does get you the stamina back, so overall it might be worth it. Yeah, you find plus one and plus two versions of the ring, or the talismans, some of them, uh, Noonal. I found a plus one Erd Tree Blessing, which is basically like the Ring of Favor. Uh, Sinistic. The game is based damage on time, on time falling, so something double jumping on your horse can kill you. I have experienced that. <laughs> that would make a lot of sense. When it first came out, I was trying to like test the double jump to see if I could get really low and then double jump and save myself. And then, yeah, I realized that the double jump, it just makes you die worse. So. Oh, compass. Chase, use the compass. You can get a plus two. Ooh. Ooh. I gotta look that up. Where's the plus two? <laughs> Ah, uh, I wonder if I can free aim it. Ah, it's hard to free aim. Hey, boys. He has an axe. All right, the you know what the wizard just did? Exactly what the dog boss did to me. Which I find really funny. Lined up three wizard shots. Um, 
Nope. I thought he might do a counter attack just to... Oh, that broke in front of me. Does that have like a low range or something? What's behind me? There are odd sounds that I've never heard quite before. No. Ah. Wow. Is that one swing? Or did I get hit by both? That worries me if it was one swing. Bruce. You do a lot of damage there, Brucey. Yeah, step into my madness. Nice. Oh, I didn't mean to point, but all right. <laughs> the double, the double death gets me, man. It gets me. The Thunder Ram Art War. I don't think I found that Thunder Ant. The Thunder Ram Art. I gotta look up all the found ones, I guess. I don't remember that one. Yeah, the no hit stun throws you off. I kind of like it though because you can roll out of it, but you don't. Sometimes you don't notice the damage you're receiving. Uh, faith. Well, I don't know if you can. Can you increase the madness rate? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's a stock rate for madness or if it actually like scales off something, like blood. If it's faith, that's cool. Then it definitely is worth investing in, in more faith. I'd have to go higher on my faith to test it. Wait, is Cosm the host? Big sausage. 24-6. Yo, thank you, man. Black, uh, black cat? I appreciate it, man. I've been loving the invasions, honestly. They've been so much fun. And even the playthrough, like, it's been a while since I loved a game's PvE, you know? But this one has definitely scratched my PvE itch. Ow, my eye is also itchy. Uh, it's a little different. So there's no true combos, and they went back to a style of passive poise. So it's different than Dark Souls 3. You have to get used to it, for sure. Once you do, though, I feel like it's a great time. I've been enjoying it a lot. Got to be careful with the stam, but... Wizards hurt. You must very much so respect the wizard. The wizard damage is not weak. They like their swords. Their sword attacks do a lot of damage, that is for sure. Get up on here, dodge that one little pellet that's gonna come my way. Uh, no. I don't know if the shield breaks are a little faster. Sometimes it's hard to get a crit though when you shield break now. Oh, that guy's connection is not to be wanted. Oh, he's out of Estus. That is tough. He's not dead, but he's going to be. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, that's the FP flask, man. This guy made like five mistakes in a row. <laughs> that is tough. Coming in right by your little sorcery. I don't respect that sorcery. Oh, I love that we can just poise through straight swords with certain levels of armor. Oh, wow. That is a rough end, my friend. Yeah, I've been noticing that. Whenever I get a guard break with uh, a, heavy, a jumping heavy, I rarely have time to get the crit. It has to be like a faster weapon for sure. Scar oh yeah, there is a Scarlet Rot Great Axe. You are correct. I remember seeing that. Not that I used it, but I seen it. Um, let's go more to the, the mist area of Lyurnia. I didn't fight in here at all. What madness spells? Frenzied Burst, uh, the Flame of Frenzy, and Inescapable Frenzy, which we haven't landed yet. <laughs> I'll try to focus that a bit more. That one's really hard to land though. I need someone to be aggressive with like a light weapon to maybe make it happen. That yeah, it's crazy, uh, Nidus. There's even like 
animals hidden as other animals. Like, I found a larval tear from a, a hollow by killing him and he transformed into a bear. <laughs> Just like, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Really threw me off. I could go get the dragon ones, but my build isn't uh, that right now, so I'm going to switch to it. Oh, there's three of you. Oh, boy. Two for one. So we got twin blades with a fire buff. We got a katana. Oh, wait. Should I whoop. get back here for a second? Try to stun him. Who's the weakest health-wise? That's who we're going to focus first. Oh, that had iframes, but missed me. Oddly enough. Oh, what? What? That's like the second time that's happened today. The The connection, I guess, is interesting. That happened earlier today, too. That's kind of sad. That was like the first three men. Well, I guess we've seen a lot of three men, but that's the first three men in like a half hour. <laughs> that could have been a nice hunt. Uh, I think my main character has 11 larval tiers. There are a lot of people playing. You're right. Like, that could have an impact, I suppose. Invasions are pretty damn instant. This is the fastest I've seen in this whole series. Actually, if you look at Dark Souls 3 sales compared to Elden Ring, it's like almost 10 times, I think. It's top player count. Uh, not even sales, just player count. Sorry. Um. Oh, it's that way. Oh, I see. Hey, a blue. Yeah, look. Oh, it does, it does tell you. Ugh me strong. <laughs> I guess I don't notice it when I'm fighting. Hug strong. Oh no, he's running the wrong way. Do they they don't have a compass for me, do they? For invaders. There's more than ten. I had twelve without farming. Can you even farm them by the way? So I know they drop from those balls in the Nokron city, like the, the ones that chase you, kind of like the... Where is he going? Okay. I'm trying a new weapon every stream, so I used the, the Rivers of Blood last stream. Today we're doing the Madness. Seven hundred K on Elden Ring, yeah, yeah. No, I meant of all time though, the Kingslayer. <laughs> right now, obviously, it's like a great difference, like super vast. Hey. Another blue. Have they even noticed me? Has he just been running from me the whole time, or like did you not notice me? I've been behind you, man, like heavily behind you. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Two wield axe. And he's got a, what is that? A whip? Some regen here. This guy's Thor. Man, I knew he was gonna parry and everything and it still didn't give me the backstab. Disappointment. Immeasurable. Okay, so you can't turn that as much as I'd like. Whee! And also the other blue arrived in the heat of the moment right there. That was, that was some good timing, Mr. Blue. Oh, look, they're cute. They attack at the same time. <laughs> oh man, I wish I could parry that. So I know exactly when it's coming every time. I mean, I wish I could backstab that and I'll parry that. Okay, you got a little bit of madness on him. We'll probably be able to kill him next time we proc the madness. I love how the blue resort is to a bow. <laughs> You would have had more options with the, the sword, but alright. Okay, his damage isn't the best. This blue is the high damage up, but damn, that didn't look like it was gonna hit me at all. Okay, I didn't want to hit him with that. Maybe I should get more FP. Actually, I might use the Frenzy Flame here. Might be useful. Ah. Maybe 
be so nice to backstab. What? What? Oh, did he fog wall me? What? So did it say host of fingers had completed their task? Is that what it says when you get fog walled? That's weird. Did he run all the way to a fog wall? Damn, that was far. Ah. I don't even know what's near there. Aren't we at the Great Belfry area? Damn, dude. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, that was weird. Interesting, though. Let's try the frenzied burst. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking of, well, probably maybe even above 120, whatever people decide upon. I'm fine with any soul level, to be honest. Ha ha ha. Damn, that did some damage, you know. Ah, uh, screw the moon veil. You saved his life. Really? That's not what I wanted. That might kill me. I wanted Estus. <laughs> okay, little guy. You die, Nicholas. For your constant moon veil weapon arts. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's still going? Dude, you're gonna run out of FP real soon. knows only L1. He will not change. The lives will not change him. Wizard know only spam. <laughs> That's a lot of Moon Veil weapon arts. <laughs> moon Veil's the new Pyromancy. We'll see. We'll see how they start balancing stuff. It'll be different. Ah, uh, there's no, like, guaranteed meta level yet. People are still just playing through the game. Uh, not that I know of. I get that question, like, a billion times a day, though. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. No one asked that in Dark Souls. Let's see. Maybe Mausoleum Compound? I don't think I've invaded here at all. Let's try there. Yeah, right now you'll get the most invasions at like, up. apparently a few people have been telling me 70 to 80 has been getting them a lot as well. So I think I'll try that next. I'm just like going up in soul level every stream basically. That is my goal right now. Um, Yeah, I think it will if they balance the weapons sometime soon. Moonveil can do a lot of damage at higher level. Like where I was using it at my 130, it does really, really high damage. It's pretty crazy. It's just the weapon art, though. Just the magic hit with the katana. It does a lot. Oh, this is interesting. A nice field. Connection error. <laughs> does that... Okay. A connection error has occurred. Please tell me he doesn't do that, though. Okay, I thought I might be able to poise the dagger. I wasn't. Okay. Let's see if it happens. <laughs> no! Okay. It didn't happen. Would you look at that? <laughs> that works. Uh, I like to one-shot wizards with 20 vigor. That's true. <laughs> That's that is one bonus, I suppose. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get any really on my 130, so I haven't experienced much of the high damage yet. I guess we'll see as we grow up there. 
Uh, next stream, I'll do 70 maybe, 70 or 80. And then after that, 90, 100. Till we get to the, the end game areas. I'm trying to like invade every little area. See what ones are the most enjoyable. Hey, luck. I find, I've been seeing a lot of lone people actually, to be honest. That's not the strongest. We got a good hitbox though, I guess. You can side strafe it. Okay, I get, I get what you're doing now. Oh, I thought I got that like the Dark Souls 3 timing. Sadly, I did not. What will you do against this though? You will die. <laughs> he didn't expect that. Now he's a little panicked. He was he was very composed before. But now he's straight sorting it up. <laughs> Fun fight, man. Now that was a Dark Souls 3 place style right there in Elden Ring. <laughs> the shield R1 with punish. Uh, yeah, this, well, no, this is actually my third character. This one's my third. Yeah, I haven't seen, is there any other madness weapons? I would love to add it to this. But from what I've gathered through my playthrough, I haven't seen another one. I assume there will be, though. You know, it's a whole new stat proc. What's the, what's the name of the other one? We could definitely give that a try. Oh, we're here. How am I leveling? I'm level 50. That's not fast at all. This character has 20 hours of playtime. <laughs> I'm purposely not leveling him up. Just the spear so far? Ah, uh, okay. That's fair, though. That's something to go off of, I guess. Uh, I level my endurance for my uh, armor because I think like having the passive poise is nice with the spear. I can trade lighter weapons since it's not the fastest spear. Hey, the useless backstabs really annoy me. I know I love backstabbing. I feel you. Um, it's super good against like aggressive teams in Dark Souls 3, but you can still do it it's just you have to do it on only like punishes on really slow weapons i haven't been able to just like pivot around someone and backstab like a straight sword i'm pretty sure there's a wrath of the gods type spell yes from what i remember Yeah, you won't get invaded uh, alone, Ozzy. You have to use something called the Fro Calling Finger and then the Taunter's Tongue to get invaded while you're alone without summoning. Hello, boys. Hawk. Hawkeye. What's this guy's name? Ren Guri. I don't know what that does. It's a fireball spell. Okay. Fireball spell it is. Double Katana. Is there a third one? Oh, Bleed of Blood. That's not... Okay, it depends on who's using it, but that was not the most damage. Not the frenzy. I'm the frenzy. Oh, you wanna, you wanna play frenzies, huh? Okay, you do that one. I'll do the one that snipes you. <laughs> you thought he was safe. You thought I was doing the same thing back to him. That's cute. He did not expect the laser beam. <laughs> He's looking like idiot. Mine didn't reach him. His won't reach me. <laughs> Deleted. <laughs> but uh, that guy's health was extremely low though. Can we just uh, take a moment to look at that? That killed him. The guy had like no health. The... Beamed. Yeah. No one likes their HP bar, man. They want their magic damage. <laughs> they love their magic damage. He took it like a champ. He did. He did. Hang on. 
<laughs> nice! Nice! Oh! I thought... Oh, they're fighting a boss! <laughs> I thought they were... I thought there was another invader here! I had no idea... What in the wizard? What in the... Oh, that's like a weapon art, huh? Oh, he's in a corner of madness. Yeah, he's dead. It's okay, I got your back, bell-bearing hunter. Ah, oh, the host is running. I was like, where's my compass? I must find the host. Hello, Sleepy. Moonveil? Actually, what is that? Is that the Moonveil? That's a, that's a corner there, buddy. Oh, I'm out of FP. No, that would have been so good. <laughs> I jumped into that. That was funny. I can appreciate a little moon veiling. Wah! This is just like a katana. It's pretty easy to dodge. Oh, that comes from like behind me. I see. Oh, that ruined my roll catch timing. Ooh. Fun fight, Mr. Wizard. And, uh, oh, these guys are super tanky. These, wait, is it that one? There's like a certain skeleton that has such high poise, you can't stagger him. It's pretty crazy. Oh. What the? Oh, they're trying to snipe me. I see. Smack. Smack. Oh, it's like a, yeah, it like puts the cast right behind them. Is it a spell or is it a, a weapon art? Uh, yo, vibes, magma. Fire, fire's deadly sin will cast a fire AoE. The fire deals the same damage as a weapon status. Using the Eclipse Shotel's weapon art, just being near a player. Yeah, I saw that. That definitely needs to be patched, vibes. It gives them, uh, no, it gives them curse, like death not madness but yeah vibes that that's something they'll probably address pretty quickly that Thank one's broken <laughs> fire's deadly sin will cast a fire it's crazy this it's like an aoe curse build up stupid Using the eclipse, that's actually because i saw that happening i actually threw this on my seconds. build in case i need more curse resistance and i'm just run away from them because <laughs> like yeah that's like all i could think of doing it's crazy Oh, well, I, I didn't know there was a difference until today, Ali. So uh, tomorrow I'll try the other finger out and see if it's different. Got to test all the different fingers. <laughs> Thank you so much, though, Grant, man. I really appreciate all the support to the channel lately, guys. Elden Ring has been a blast. Thank you. Could you do a video on how you make new characters and builds efficiently, please? Uh, make a new a new video. I mean that'd be a stream not really a video, but I I mean the only thing to it is you just look at the route where you want to collect the items you want and you just kill the bosses that are in the way You don't have to fight all bosses. There's so many bosses in Elden Ring that are uh, just optional. Whoa Wait are they trying to cheese the boss? Wow Wow lemos you lemos I don't want to get hit by the boss, can I? I think I can. Yeah, bring out your spear. Oh, you know what's so sad? That was such a good backstab. That was so sad. Hurts my, my happiness a little. Oh, and curse mosses. Yeah, you can craft some curse mosses. So I guess there's something you can do about it, but it really is crazy. What? Oh, he was spinning a staff. I didn't even see it because it wasn't colorful. This is madness. This is Sparta. <laughs> we got 
got a system going on here. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, we played Dark Souls for like six years. We've done like most of there is to do in Dark Souls. I love it, but I mean, Elden Ring is just has so much to do. No more wizard cheese for you. <laughs> the boss had backup. Me. <laughs> Yeah, it is really fun, CEO. I mean, there's some, like, super strong things and, like, some unbalanced things overall, but mostly it's been a good time. I haven't had any issues. It's been a lot of fun. No more. Is that a blue? Oh, those... These look like a blue lying in the grass. Wow. Wizard PTSD. They're always blues. Oop. Grace point. Okay. Yeah, I love this little outfit we made here. It goes super well together. This chest piece looks awesome. And a couple of helms look good with it. Uh, Melania's, you can probably get the, the gold Valkyrie helm. I think that would look cool too. I've always liked gold. <laughs> I don't know why. The knight chest pieces are pretty good as well. The gold ones, but I really like this feather cape. Oh. Wait, did they? Oh, they brought one of those down. Okay. All right. So first, we get rid of the wizard's possibility to wreck me with gravity. Markion. What? One. I kind of have to just take the damage of the wizard right now because I can kill this guy. Yeah. I love that he didn't fire a big spell at me. I really appreciate him for that definitely helps this I'm no wizard lover <laughs> you get the flames of defeat come here oh well that's depressing oh, I thought he'd try to parry <laughs> gotta remember to use jump attacks more for that reason and the R2 they're like not running away from me which they're usually running away from me so I kind of have to use the thrust You do the R2 slap. We got a system now. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, Malfes Malfeasant, um, this has been really helpful for me. One reason is uh, when they dodge roll, if you get the hit timing right, you can actually still uh, build up the madness during their roll. Because stat procs all do that, bleed, frostbite, all that. If you get a close to hit during the roll, like where they're at the near the end of their iframes, it'll still be, uh, build the stat proc. And eventually when they are madnessed, they lose half their FP. So it's a huge wizard drain. I love it. This has been really good for that. Hey. I kind of enjoy it though, Kemper, because in Dark Souls 3, status effects are just literally useless. Like, you can roll bleed so easily. Poison, you everyone just has poison blossoms. Like, uh, please don't kill me, turtle. Thank you. Frostbite is like, eh, you can roll that too. And like, I don't know. It's kind of cool to see a couple of useful stats. Where are they? I want to hit them with the sniper. Turtle power! Oh, uh, you get this by killing the commander boss in the snow mountain. Top. I can't open my menu right now, but I'll show you after. It's his boss armor. You mean turtle armor. There is a turtle shield. It's kind of funny. Uh, the little dungeons? I don't find they're very interesting. Plus, the dungeons here? I don't know. I find the legacy dungeons don't get as much activity as the open world in the main areas. Oh, you mean that, like, Liurnia? Yeah, we invaded here literally all day. Sorry, I keep I keep thinking you mean the little dungeons when you guys say legacy dungeons, but you mean the main dungeons. Yeah, we haven't been invading there. Aww. I was going to snipe him. Turtle Shield is actually the Grass Crest. Yeah, I noticed that. 
And it also has the uh, reinforced shield buff, you know? I kind of enjoyed that. Uh, well, we killed a few teams earlier that used the Scarlet Breath. Mostly, I run away when they cast it, or if I'm like if I'm too far when they start it, I run away. If I'm close, you can actually run and hit them out of it. Uh, you have to be quick on that, though. So we fought a couple of those Dragon Breathers today. Dragon Breathers. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Um, Compass. I love... You think you're safe just because I'm from a range? Look at you. You have a wizard. You should know. That one's faster than most. That guy's wizard spells are quick. We do this. Oh, I tried to get right through the Twin Blade guy. Oh, he like glided right there. Fahrenheit bad in Dark Souls 3, Fahrenheit lame in this one too. It's okay though, they will run out of FP I suppose. Or I can just ignore it and go fetch this guy to death. Yeah. Put out, yeah. Yeah, the, the fair and dark cheese people always put out 100%. Without fail, I can tell. <laughs> they don't want to actually PvP, they just want to cheese you and wail you down while you're distracted. <laughs> Lame, so sad, I know. People are babies. They're giant babies. Uh, this character is 60, but I'm gonna do my next one at 80. I'm like slowly going up. Those little pebbles. They throw in pebbles at us. This one's uh, two levels away from 60. My next one will probably be like 75, 80. I'm just gonna slowly go up and see where invasions take us. <laughs> Aww. You're not supposed to dodge it. How dare you be smart. I'm out of FP. We have enough for a weapon art though. We don't need to waste an Estus Flask yet. An Ashen Flask, sorry. That exists. <laughs> I gotta remember that exists. Oh, that would have been very cool, actually, if you hit that. It's a slower attack, you know, I can appreciate when those land. Ooh, both hit once. Wow. Going oh, nice. Nice fight, boys. Nice fight, honestly. Just stop by to say what's up. I'm still going through the game. Used all my fingers from invasions. Oh, okay, so... Uh, the ones that were given to you by the NPC, Johnny, after you do that, you can go talk to him again and he'll give you a cloth you have to soak in uh, a maiden's blood, which you can probably Google and it, it'll show you the exact route. It's hard to explain if you haven't been there, but that's how you get the full invasion item, at least one of them. Thank you so much though, man. I hope you get home soon from work so you can play more Elden Ring. It's been a blast, actually. Yeah, Madness is so, I feel like I, I haven't seen many of those builds. <laughs> I didn't fight any. I think people aren't usually uh, going into stat proc builds right away, but I tried Blood first. And uh, now we're trying the Madness. Hey, we defeated him earlier. That's fine. Oh man, if he's down, I'm just leaving. Sometimes the spawns, dude. They're so far. <laughs> I don't even know how we leave, actually, to be honest. We just do this. Oh, that's how you write messages. I should really learn all my items. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Saves me time. 
Makes you roll, yeah. Hey, I want to use the fingers to warp, but like, they always put me back where I am. I think that needs a little bit of work. Needs a tiny bit of work. Climbing down that mountain sucks. Uh, I tried it earlier, Androk, and it just warped me like five feet. It did that to me in the manor as well. It does? I think it just warps me like randomly, like just chooses a new warp point. Ah. Because I was in the, the Carrion Manor earlier and it, uh, it warped me back where I spawned. <laughs> So uh, maybe it maybe it's a little janky. Maybe they can work on that one. Um, okay, we've been here for a while. Where next? We did the church, I think. Where did I say? Oh yeah, we didn't go here. We didn't do the the forest, the mist forest. Yeah, sometimes it works though. Sometimes it does. Ow! I just kicked my chair. Uh, the teleport item you get as soon as you invade, and it's called the bloody fingers, I believe. Madness can stun the hands. Ooh, I didn't try that on them, actually. I'm not sure how well it'll work for PvE, but it's been going well for PvP, so... I hear Recusing Finger doesn't notify the host. Oh! I don't know. I do not know. Um, I'm using the bloody one, so... Yeah, I, I don't know. I have to go pick up the, recu uh, the Recusant one from the manor. See, like, let's let's give it an example. Where are they? Are they behind me? We can try. Watch. If I get spawned where I was, though, <laughs> I'm gonna laugh. It takes longer to warp you too. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You can't use those in battle, really. See, now where am I? It brought me further. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're up on that mountain, right? Mother. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. I guess I'll just run it all the time. It's very random where it chooses to warp you. This is my spawn point. Where in the hell? It tells me whenever Cusant invades me? Okay, yeah, so there's no difference really. They're not on the tower. Up here maybe? Maybe they are on the tower. They are. They have to be on the tower. Yeah, yeah, I'm using the compass. Doesn't tell you verticals, though. Oh, now it is you who's stuck in here with me! Haha, <laughs> you made a critical error. There goes your hostie! Oh no! Oh no. Oh. Hey. Oh, I'm stuck here. Oh no, I gotta go back down. So sad. It's okay, I'll climb back up, I guess. Going back up. This is some verticality right here. Hey. No. Game, why didn't you climb the ladder? Dude. Oh, there's a blue here. Going down here. I need more FP. You are saving that blue's life, good sir. I'm 
what the heck? I don't even think he meant to get that. He meant to light attack me. <laughs> well, I don't think the host is going to fight me down here. I feel like he realizes he'll be outgunned. Tovar, your cheese. It is not tasty. Now taste my wrath. Hang on, I got I got a special gift for something for you. Ladder cheesing already. Get out of here. Get the point down. Get my first point down of Elden Ring. Cheesy mother. Ah, uh, no, you can't, China. I tried. I tried, man. Get the first point down, Mr. Ladder Cheeser. I should put the half heal one. I was just trying the bubble out. The half heal is better. You're right. Very sad. You can't even do, like, the grabs on them because they're in an animation. It just doesn't work, sadly. Furled finger, Clementine. All right, Clementine. Where are you? Hey, Gengar. What's up, man? Um, where the hell? Okay, this way. We go this way. Charged R2 is good, yeah. Uh, I, I waste FP if I do the weapon art, and sometimes they get out of it. I have to cast it. I mean, I have to use it right away if they get madness for them to get hit by it. Hmm. It says they're nearby. I wonder if the vertical meter isn't a thing for being close to them. I feel like it may not be. Yeah, they're definitely below. Alright, we'll try the bloody finger again. See if it warps us. This seems a better height. Seems like I'm ringing the Elden. We are. Got all the rings. Uh, um, oh, shh. I, I could have just jumped off a cliff for all I knew. <laughs> it's just horizontal distance. Thought so. What? Did he go back up? Hold up. How? How? You can't horse jump while I'm here. Not on me. Oh, the Shriek also applies a buff to you? Shit. Yeah, we're going to use that at a higher level for this build then. I didn't know that. I haven't used it. Oh, hello, DiCaprio. Nice cheese. <laughs> it wasn't tasty enough though. Oh, you have no health. Jeez. <laughs> this guy though gets up on a mountain with his lightning arrow. I think he, I mean magic arrow. I think he panicked and rolled off though. DiCarpio? Wait, what was his name? DiCaprio? <laughs> what was his name? DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read it. I was more worried about the magic arrow. <laughs> okay. Well, the magic arrow was scary. <laughs> oh, is <laughs> dead Carpio. Oh, that's really funny. Uh, I live in the eastern side of Canada, so like, uh, Ontario. You know where that is. Kyo! Well, it's magic arrow and it's worse, Asher. There's a four times magic arrow. Uh, what does my talisman use? It's called the Frenzied Flame Seal. Uh, there's a quest line to get it. You do need to give Hyatt, the girl, the grapes as you go through the game. And then you need to fight a boss named Moog and go deeper and even more down into the depths where you get the evil ending of the Frenzy Flamed. Yeah. There's, a, there's probably tutorials for it. 
if you wanted to try that out. It is, I think you need to at least be at the Lanedale capital though. So it's more mid game to late, more mid, mid late, I guess. Oh, you've got that. Wow, nice. Not many people I know played this and found that. No one went and did the damn uh, jumping of the tombstones all the way down. It, it was pretty harsh. Oh, okay. We're going here. We're going to where the uh, embers are. Nice. Yeah, yeah, Johnny. Exactly. Exactly. I was sitting there actually editing after I told her that with my character just kind of standing like about this distance from the wall. And I just hear vomiting and I was like, what? <laughs> Really threw me off. It was really funny. She continues to do that after you tell her that. Oh, nice, Tic Tac. Yeah, it's pretty chill here, you know, minus the winter. Winter is kind of boring, but it's not bad. Ooh. Oh, this is an interesting spawn point, actually. Um, I'm above the boss room, and so are they. Uh, oh wait, I can just run over, okay. Hey, there's a chest here. Wonder, can I open their chest? I can't, okay. <laughs> That'd be really funny. Yeah, I know, that really caught me off guard. Whoa, we dodged the flame. And then we dodged the Kamehameha. We dodge and we dodge artists. Essentially. This man loves his flames. Oh, he's got two summons. Do I have an escape route in here? I do. I could just jump down, I guess, right? Oh, there's also an escape here. Sweet. Someone told you that sword was OP. It is, but you have to hit me with it. <laughs> I will not allow you that luxury. He was so confident. But now he's dead. Now you're also dead. <laughs> the murder of madness. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Dragon King's Crag Blade. I, yeah, I'm going to use all the weapons eventually, man. I'm just going through them. I love the screaming. I know, it's such a great death. I love it. This is a really fun build, because it's brand new, you know, the style of play is so different with it. I like it a lot. That's definitely going to be one of, oh, man, there, there's so many weapons though, I can't say my favorite, but I do like this a lot. This is really cool. The dragon things might be a blast too, man, we got to try so much. So much to try. I'll work on uh, another, like, collecting of some weapons tonight as well. While I eat and edit. <laughs> That's been my basic night schedule, to be honest. Can I go in here? I cannot. Okay. Uh, yeah, Ronnie, it's good for PvE for sure. It shoots that, like, energy beam. I have a friend of mine who's been using it. Just, like, melting bosses. Uh, it's still a straight start, I guess. So it could be good in PvP. And the damage is really high. I saw my buddy lost... Who also has a YouTube channel, by the way. Shout out, Lost My Sanity. Super nice dude. Uh, he got uh, almost one shot by the flame arc earlier today when I was watching his stream. Like the flame one. It does really high damage. But I think it's mostly used by mages, so they're squishy as well. Where are these guys? Hang on. Hold up. They're over there. Hmm. Maybe they're up where I just was fighting, I guess. Possibly. Oh, I can't jump back that way. Oh, pain. Super pain. Okay.
Do you think you'll be? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, Swamp, I like not. I mean, I don't like not invading solo hosts, but I prefer fighting outnumbered in teams. I like. I don't want to just straight up have duels when I invade because there's arenas for that. You know, like same with DS3. I found like one v one is just not as entertaining because we have an arena for when we do that, and like I do that for my showcases and stuff. When I invade, I want it to be like a battle throughout the map. You know what I mean? Like a, a nice, a nice war. It's just so much more fun, to be honest. I can drop this, right? Yeah. No. Okay. Oh, they're over here. Oh. Hey, boys. Hello. Take my madness. That has more range than you think, apparently. What? Why did that not hit me? That makes me depressed for him. Oh, my shield saved my life right there. <laughs> oh, that's depressing. When you hit both at the same time. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> the weapon is really cool on that, though. Even when it's out of FP, it looks kind of badass. Yeah. <laughs> really? I guess you don't get much hate mail on Steam. That's something that you never really feel. The PvP is flashy and I love it. There is a lot of flashy things, for sure. I agree. Ah, uh, yeah, the upgrade mechanic and level ma uh, matchmaking are always a thing. Uh, peeves in all the... Well, in most of the Souls games. Like, scratch the earliest Dark Souls 1 before the remaster, I believe, but... Hello? We begin with the war! Huh. More madness is on the way, young one. I wonder if we can proc it now with like a couple hits. Yep. Oh, I got myself madness. <laughs> I'm so smart. I forgot it builds up on me. Ah, uh, the old DS3 ways, they haunt me. I'm sad that you can jump that above a person. That actually makes it really tough. <laughs> Gavlin. Fun fight, Gavlin. Whoop. Yeah. Did I invade with the Royal Greatsword? No, I've only done two weapons so far. This and the, the Rivers of Blood. Man, this is pretty strong. It is indeed. Yeah. Frost plus bleed. I mean, I mean, frostbite will lower absorption. So if you get a bleed proc, I don't know if it's gonna do more damage or not, because it might be a set percent. But always pays to frostbite someone. No, it doesn't let you crumb because they're doing like an animation that's kind of already a thing. You can't do any type of grab things on them. I tried earlier. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the rivers of blood was bugged. I didn't know. We did a whole stream with it, and I think we only died once or twice on it. It was hitting like a wet noodle, but the bleed procs, man, they were fast and strong. I made a, a video for it. It was pretty funny. Yeah, it was pretty funny. Um, Let's try a friend. Uh, I thought that might hit him out of the air. Sadly, it didn't. Oh, I missed those style of backs. That's why I really just did it, because I, you know, I got a love for it. Just follow me into my madness. This is madness. Oh, okay. So you have to roll slow against those type of counter attacks. Oh, see? Now it's your turn. You tried to save your homie, and I can appreciate you. But he let you die because of it. What? <laughs> The 
with the mimic yeah you know what maybe using the mimic might if you guys do go to beat the game at like a, a lower than normal soul level i bet you the mimics help a lot uh i didn't get the mimic thing yet though so i had to do it the normal way but ice stomp helped me a lot ice stomp is very good against most bosses the hoarfrost stomp i think it's called right very good i have it on the uh halberd here but i i reallocated my build was dex int helped a lot for the playthrough Yeah, you can parry Melania. It, it like uh, counterattacks her almost. You don't get like a crit right away. I did it a few times when I was fighting her. That might be a helpful way though. Now that I think about it, the Horfrost Stomp though helps a lot in every boss fight. I swear, for me. Bleed has carried you. Yeah, I didn't really use the Rivers of Blood in the PVE. Uh, I tried when I started it as the Bandit for that Bleed character. I tried fighting the horse right away with the Bleed weapon, and he just never bled. It was crazy. Actually crazy. Yes, yes. You guys need to go into the small corridor right here. Yes. Definitely a wise decision in there. I agree. Yes. There you go. Okay, yes. In the corridor you go. And then I rise to victory. Goodbye. <laughs> Just came here for murder. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> yeah, that was a tough one. Poor guy. In my hallway of murder. <laughs> uh, you don't need to. So I was I was trying to... You can get the Valk Spear pretty early on. Um, here. At the Church of uh, Inhibition. The only reason that I go to Endgame uh, when I make a character, well, specifically my one character that I plan to reallocate into other characters, is I, A, I want all my Estus, all my uh, key items and stuff, access to all the spells and stuff that I want for the build. So I, I tend to beat the Souls game at a low soul level the first time I make a PvP character. Just so I can do that. I can, I can invade at whatever soul level I want. If it's busy, like, at mid-level that day, I'll go there. If it's busy high-level, I can do that. It's super, super convenient. You dare wizard at me, Jackie? Is that a cannon? Oh, he has the cannon. <laughs> what in the heck? Yeah, I have a friend uh, names that like use the mimic, not upgrade. He didn't know you could u upgrade the mimic, and it was destroying like for him through the playthrough. A plus ten mimic? Yeah, it could probably kill bosses. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> You're getting better at roll catches. Yeah, the more I play it, the better. Holy shit, we got a lot of great runes today. What in the hell? Got like seventy. <laughs> How many people have we killed? <laughs> How many invasions have we done today, man? It's been so fun. How that I really... You can't use the runes in invasions, right? So they're kind of useless unless you're, like, playing through the story. I guess. To an extent. Hey, boys! No. Oh. Oh, it's the bleed build-up flame. We gotta kill him ASAP. That thing hurts. Not at once. But it builds up the bleed. Oh, there you go. He goes lagging into the distance. Wait. Wait. No, he's actually lagging into the distance. I was making a meme, but <laughs> where is he going? He's gone. <laughs> Come back, son, bro. Come back. <laughs> My people need me. <laughs> what in the heck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. That guy was actually a god. Just just flew off. <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious actually. I do still use a PS4 controller. Yes, Hunter. Indeed. I actually bought two new ones on sale because I had a friend of mine that told me that they're slowing down production on them and I just in a panic was like, I need these. <laughs> and 
And my other one had a little bit of stick drift, so yeah, I bought, I bought two new ones. Listen, I'm an avid lover of the PS4 controller. PS5 is fine, but PS4 is better. Wait, I wonder if this works. I really don't understand how this ring works yet, so we're gonna put it on. No, order acquisition. Conceals Crower, Crower, <laughs> Conceals Wearer while crouching away from enemy foes. So does that mean like while I'm moving away? Yeah, while, yeah, Crower. Hold up. Wanna snipe. Like this? Am I invisible here like a bird? I'm perched. Damn, my snipe. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh well. All this damn wizard magic. Okay, maybe don't don't trade two wizards at the same time. Probably a wise bet. How did that hit me by the way? I take offense. <laughs> what? Oh, you must have got like partially hit by that earlier one. How did you get that madness in like one hit? The rod. Take my rod. <laughs> my flaming mad rod. Uh, bow. Uh, I have a new mic? No. I've always had this mic. Well, the past like two years. Why does my mic sound weird right now? I hope not. build. It's pretty funny. Yeah, well, I mean, we're all new to it, right? So, like, none of us really know anything. My mic better be fine. I'd be sad. Thank you. I appreciate the input. Uh, this way. I'm telling you, Rand Randall, uh, when a game comes out like a First Souls game, no one levels health. <laughs> it's just, it is a fact of life. Um, hang on, before I jump down, where are they? They must be close, because my compass says so. What? My uh, headphones are being interesting. Okay. We're good. Down there? Down there. Is PvP always 1v2 or 1v3? Yeah. There's there's no way to invade a lone host unless they decide to use an item called the Taunter's Tongue, so... You'll always be outnumbered. Usually. I mean, sometimes they'll choose to. Wow, this wizard has leveled HP. And the other one rolled off the cliff. <laughs> Why was he rolling? I wasn't even attacking him. That was funny. Yo, Chris, have fun, man. If you guys uh, go through it, enjoy it. Get all your playtime. Why'd the other guy roll off the cliff, though? I, I have questions that need answers, and I... <laughs> no solo invasions? Well, to be honest, people mostly co-op. So, like, if you mostly invaded in Dark Souls 3, you mostly invaded co-opers. It was actually more rare for me to invade a lone host. Although, hey, more invasions is always more fun, but still... I still found teams way more than I found in solos. Why do you never? I just, I have lots of hours in Souls games. I just know what I'm doing. That's all. A lot of time invested in Dank Souls 3. Netted me some good spatial awareness and I guess roll catching and knowing what's up. Hello there, wizard. Let's start with something fun. This guy's got at least a thousand HP, I think. I don't know for sure, but... <laughs> the wizard didn't, though. The wizard did not. Just walked right into my attack. <laughs> oh my god. 
Uh, well, there's just not enough people there yet, Benedict. I mean, the game came out, what, a week and a half ago? Not everyone has played like 10 hours a day like some of us. I tried uh, 130 two days ago and I didn't get anything. So I was like, okay, I'll just, I'll level up like 10, 20 levels a day and see how active the invasions get from there. Find the sweet spot for the day, you know. I did play through the game again with level 50, yeah. Hardest thing. Uh, there were a couple of hard things. Uh, my ice stomp helped a lot for Morgoth and Godwin, like the golden one where you get the fourth talisman slot. So there's no way to get the talisman slots unless you beat uh, certain bosses. So even if you make a low level character, you do have to kill those bosses. You can run around and get a lot of the Estus seeds though, even without killing some of the bosses. But for some of those things, you need to. Hello there, Sabine. <laughs> I like that he rolled into it. Straight swords don't really hurt as much as a lot of the bigger weapons lately. Well, that guy does not have any HP. What the heck? What is everyone doing? I think I had a thousand HP before I fought the first damn boss. First thing I leveled after killing the horse <laughs> was my HP. My man doesn't know how he's out of magic. He's never been out of magic before. <laughs> It's you! <laughs> Madness is pretty fun. Oh, let's see, the claws do more than the straight sword. We kind of like are hitting the same. I just have so much more HP than these guys. <laughs> their damage is good though, just not their health. I do wish you could 2v4. Me too. I do miss the six player cap. I hope, hope they increase that in the future. Not that I think they will. I think that's a huge thing though. Did dragon fire wall under madness. Oh my god. Eternal, you're trying to make this thing a, a, a murderer. <laughs> it's already strong. I don't think it needs the dragon. Uh, let's try in here. The ravine. Yeah, there's no co-invaders. It's all you as an invader. Gotta get used to that. There we go. Yeah. How do levels work in this game? Uh, so your match make based upon soul level and weapon level. So as you go through the game, if you keep your weapon level kind of good with your uh, soul level, you should find a lot of activity. Actually, you'll probably find activity no matter what. There's like 7,000 or 700k people playing this. Like, what are you gonna do? You'll we'll find everyone. Yeah, you can have a 2v2. I, I think one of my first ones was as well. They're a little more rare, but you can have them. Is he running around here? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. There we go. Hello. Madness. Oh, the blood? Okay, that guy does not hit it hard at all, but I bet you that blood will. That thing chunks your HP. Definitely one of the stronger, yeah. <laughs> that weapon art is definitely one of the stronger weapon arts, which is cool. It does like a nice one-third-ish of my health. As long as I don't get hit by it three times in a row, we'll be fine. Can I strafe that? I can. Nice dodging that instead of... Perfect. <laughs> I have those down to a science. Hello there, wizard. Meet my madness. Chosen one. Come back here. Wizards, you know what? Wizards need a teammate. <laughs> it's fair. There you go. Yeah, that was good dodging without seeing. You know, sometimes you get used to the sound cues. It happens. What is the bubble? Uh, it's from an Estus. It like gives you like a shield. They do run forever. At least when you crouch, you gain a little bit of stamina back. So like, it's helpful. Oh my god. Or else it's like a forever run. My, my lord. 
Yeah, HO is always censored in the Souls games. Why are you running? My god. Marathon man over here. Did he quit out? No, he just lagged. That was the most convenient lag I have ever seen. Enough of this. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> what a convenient time to lag, bro. Come on. <laughs> the snipe. That was funny. <laughs> Dude, I'm keeping this frenzied burst on my build. This is the runaway killer 9000. It's so good. So good. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to limit it. I, I imagine there's so only so many uh, larval tiers in the game, but they, might, but they might limit it because bosses usually tend to have weaknesses that are found out later on, and then you could just reallocate your build to kill each boss. You know what I mean? They want you to like kind of stick to something in a playthrough. I don't know why they limit it. I wish they didn't, though. I prefer the unlimited respecking, but... I found 12 larval tiers, so 12 in a playthrough character, pretty good. I think it's pretty good. <laughs> oh god! Wow, that's unfortunate. He tried to ring around the rosy me. That guy had a taunt to his tongue. Because he's alone. He wanted to be invaded. Yeah, I bet you yeah, farming would be fine. Maybe you can. Maybe maybe we can farm them. We just haven't found it yet, maybe. There's a way. Let's try maybe in a cave. What is this? Ruin strewn precipice. Uh, this is right after there. Let's go to the Erd Tree Grazing Hill. Al Altus Plateau. Altus Plateau. Oh my god, I can't English. Altus Plateau. I thought it was Atlas Plateau. I think you can farm them. Yeah, if you guys find a place to farm them, let me know. <laughs> I'll definitely do that. Super useful for when I do all these like builds for one weapon at a time, you know? Being able to reallocate infinitely. Oh, um, where are we? In the middle of the water. Okay. Oh, they're over there. Oh, can you actually farm them, Latara? Because I have killed those boulders, but like, you can go back and kill them and keep getting them? If so, that's awesome. Hello there! Something. Felicity. Oh, he guarded that. That's cool. I do have the roll catch down on this. Oh, nice jump. Felicity. Very nice. The back away is strong with Felicity. Ah. Uh. Unfortunate. Oh, that was such a cool looking backstab, actually. Sad we didn't get that. Nice. Oh, Felicity lived. The host died on their own. Okay. Okay. Oh, do those still work? Uh, Anisarian, nice. Okay. Good to know. For sure. You can co-op, kill two boulders in Noxtella, and you get the larval tiers too. Oh, so the, the summoner gets the larval tiers. <gasps> so we can just put our sign down by that area, get randomly summoned, and when they kill the larval, the larval tiers, you also get the larval tiers. That is huge. I will be doing that in my spare time. Because <laughs> those are so nice. Yo, Cole, man. Thank you so much. Uh, what do you think of the meta level will be for PvP? So, um, yeah, if you beat the game at level 50, you're pretty set for whatever they choose. I think it'll be like 130 to 150. Just based on like, I, I was 125 stopping myself from leveling and it was basically like all of the last area that I still had to kill Morgoth. I still had to kill like all of the final area bosses here. I still had to kill uh, a few of the chosen bosses. So I would have ended up hey, at like Chase, 150 for sure. Back to invading. What do you think the meta level will oh be for foot. PvP? Kinda wish I saved scummed at 50. Seems Byrad Han is really active. 
How yeah, meta is slower right now than three. when everyone's going to beat the game, right? Like, I don't know. I feel like a playthrough takes like 60 hours. It took like 65 for me, and I tried to do everything. And I'm pretty efficient at souls. So I, I bet you 80 won't be too out of reach for most people to play through the game at for 80 hours. So they're not going to reach that high soul level very quickly, you know? It's been like a week and a bit since the game came out. A week and a half, probably, right? 25th. Well, I guess close to two weeks, I guess. Maybe people will start hitting it soon. And we'll get more invasions there. I'll try I'll try maybe 70 or 80 next time. See how that is. And took you 120 hours. Yeah, Gavix. Yeah, the game's huge. So, like, a lot of players just haven't made it there yet. I bet you a lot are in the 80s now. 80s to 100s. Even friends of mine that are streaming it, like, I don't... I think they're, like, just hitting past the 100s. Whoa. This way, huh? Okay. How do you respect to a lower level? I didn't respect to a lower level. I beat the game at 50. Well, I didn't beat the final boss yet, but everything you see on my map that I've cleared, I beat at this level. You just have to learn the boss's movesets. Some of them weren't too hard. A lot of the hardest bosses in the game are optional bosses, so you guys can definitely beat the game at a lower level than normal. Just through some practice. Wow, that was cool. Oh, he used the bloodhound thing. I see. I see, I see. Oh my god, he's dead. Jesus. He took... How did he have that little HP? This is kind of like closer to like mid-end game area. That's a weird choice. Yeah, there's tons you can just run by, like when I make these PvP characters. I don't go killing everything, you know what I mean? I know exactly where the main bosses that I have to kill are. Like, honestly, I could tell you my route for my character. I only have to fight Margit, Godric, I go kill Renala, and then I'm just collecting seeds at that point mostly. I'm not going to fight all the bosses. Uh, Grand Cheese, any cosplays? Yeah, we could definitely do that. I want to do the weapons first, though, because people are definitely wanting to see certain weapon types and search them up and see how they work so I'm gonna do that first but let's go here oh I wait is that yeah that's them throwing fireballs Thank you. any cosplay invasions coming soon what I oh yeah definitely in the future hey Lux I like your build let's do it can we have a build can we have a fight up here this looks pretty cool although I guess I have the advantage up here I'll come down He's got a Claymore or an Ultra, I can't tell. Definitely looks like an Ultra. No, it's a Claymore. Claymore style weapon. Oh, we got Madness. Oof. Very oof. This thing has a lot of potential. Oh, oh, I was going to try and just like madness proc him right there, but. Oh, this thing is so strong. Alright, nope, he just doesn't have health. Never mind. <laughs> Bro, that means. I'm actually kind of impressed when I see people that have like 600 HP, like in the later part of the areas, you know? That means they've been killing bosses with like 600 HP. Kind of impressive. <laughs> Gotta throw that to them. Like, look at where we are. We're, like, heading into, like, this is late game city. Like, this also takes place in the end game. So, like, <laughs> they went through everything with, like, 600 HP. Mildly impressive. A bolt of grand sex. Yeah, I want to try a faith build. I do. This is kind of a faith build, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm running. It does. It does cause madness build up. The flames don't hurt that much. The point is to get the build up. Okay. True, with a friend the whole time. You're right. Co-oping makes it a little bit easier. You guys uh get to share the aggro. Most aesthetic build. Ooh, I don't know about the best aesthetic. 
Thank you. Oh. Most aesthetic build video. Yeah, that was uh, that was frame drops on my stream. I just saw that. Hey, earlier it was it like YouTube crashed it, so I you know. I'll take a little bit of issues. All right, Gwind, Gwind Dinkus, he's got his uh, what's it called? Ready, the Great Rune. So he should be a little bit more tanky. Great runes essentially can be like Embers in Dark Souls 3. They give like hosts. Uh, it can be like fucking five levels in each stat if you're using Godwin. So it can be a lot higher level than an uh, Invader as a host. But <laughs> being good at PvP helps a lot, I guess. Yeah, if I had five levels extra for my great rune, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, you can be 40 levels higher than an invader just by having a rune arc active. Damn. I just thought about that. That's pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's pretty. That can be strong. Not that it mattered right there, but uh, it can matter. It can matter. That's true, uh, crack. Crack abroad. <laughs> you can't use your great rune arcs in invasions, can you? You can't, right? Uh, I, I No, we definitely can't. I know we can't because I have a great rune on the top right there. And I don't have five more levels in all my stats. So, no. No, you can't. Yeah, I, I would be active for me right now. Yeah, you could, yeah, dude, you could actually cheese hosting. I mean, being a host, you always have advantages in all the Souls games. You can summon people, and uh, in this one, you can't Ember, but you can get 40 free levels from a great rune, so <laughs> that, I guess, can be something very strong for hosts. Uh, what's a great rune? So after you kill the first main boss, uh, you see that logo in the top left of my screen? It doesn't work when you're invading, but when you're a host, you uh, can crack... Uh, the rune arcs that you have and they will activate your great rune and it basically they all have different abilities but uh, the, the first one you get gives you five stats in every stat so it's uh, it can be very strong I guess I didn't even think about that until right now oh, he's down there you get plus five in everything yeah so the way you know that a host has it though they at least give you an insignia for it so you can prepare that he's probably going to be a higher level than you. Uh, as they get a little circle beside their name. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that one was weaker, but that one tracked really well. Silly little wizard, what do you do when I get close? You dodge properly, apparently. That's all my stamina. I got a cool down here. That was a weird choice. That was a weird choice. Uh, it's not an interchangeable ash of vapor. It's just the weapon. The weapon just has that one. Uh, it's plus four, Lord. Uh, somber though. Oh, Mogwin's rune is usable. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta grab that one. I'll definitely try to. Yeah, I'll do that for the next invasion stream, and we can compare. It, see how it is. I'll be on a different build though, I guess. Yeah, host could be higher at forty levels higher. <laughs> oh, then it, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you. But it can, it can matter, like for anyone new who's, too, who's new to invading. They'll seem so, so tanky if they make the build right. But most people right now just aren't leveling their HP, they're just high damaging it. So if you dodge, they seem weak. Uh, people use the Taunter Tongue, uh, Jake, to be, have 1v1s. Hello, Thanix and Nathan, do they even see me? Hello. Didn't we fight earlier? I don't remember, but... Feels like we did. I think he's gonna get madness pro. No, this one? Wow, that's got a lot of. There we go. I was gonna say, I'm just gonna ignore that, but he's just gonna keep doing it, yeah. A bomb! I'm trying to ring around the roads to the guy with the blood slash. He's just trying to get behind me and use it. <laughs> Not enough. Oh, Nathan, you live by the 
the hairs on your chinny chin chin. <laughs> wow, backstabs are so weak. That or he's got... Oh, he's got a bleed infused weapon, yeah. They're not the highest damage right now. Their weapon arts are kind of carrying them. What happens if I bleed him, though? I mean, not bleed. <laughs> Madness him. Nathan, I'm coming for that, but... Why is this guy was like playing very weird? He wasn't very uh, aggressive on me. Backstabs work, but they're uh, they're hard to punish certain weapon types with. Like a twin blade, I'm probably not gonna backstab. Oh Jesus! <laughs> so we're out of FP now. Just gotta roll a catch, I guess. Oh, there we go. No HP meta up in here for sure, dude. For sure. The wasp, dude. The eagles with the with the talon feet. Gives you three smaller ruins like the reinvade finger that you can use to buff enemies global or nearby. Oh, that's cool, Lataro. So you can buff. Yeah, they definitely intend for players to use the world more in this one because, well, you don't have a co invader, right? So, uh, yeah, there's that. There's that. I'll try out here. This is an interesting one. Let's try here. Uh, the red fingers you get while invading teleport you around. So if you want to escape a team that's like aggressing you hard, you have to hide and use it. Or if you want to warp closer, you can use it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, what's up, guys? Hello, Connor. Saku Saisha. Hello. That was my attempt at that. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Sin, hello. Hello. What's up, man? Oh, I am blind. Wait, they're in a boss fight. Well, they were in it. See, this is why you level HP, man. How they out here kill? How they out here killing bosses? <laughs> when they get hit by the dude one time and die, you need health. You need health. <laughs> that was a perfect example of why you have more than 600 HP. See. I feel like people are getting the wrong idea when they watch me one-shot a guy. They're like, my god, his build's a beast. Well, yes, the build is good. It's a, it's like a well-made build, you know? Like, it, it'll perform well no matter what. But the people I'm invading <laughs> have never leveled their HP since the beginning of the game. Like, what? What are you doing? How are you here? This is like the gate before the main city of the game. Okay, it was like this this area is like closer to end game than mid game. And I'm like mid level, you know what I mean? Like what the hell? <laughs> what the absolute fuck? <laughs> I know. Donut. Everyone's like, "Man, your weapon does so much damage," but they're not looking at the number of damage that my weapon does. My weapon only does 340. I mean, I had a stronger weapon in my playthrough, I'm pretty sure. This does have madness build up, but like these guys and they're like 600 health like i can tell this guy has like 400 hp i'm gonna I'm leave him alone we're gonna we're gonna eat out of here i take pity on the lone mage <laughs> what the fuck that's so funny yeah 40 vigor is what i want like for sure can I go any further? Like, where is that capital rampart? East capital, I guess we can go in here. They wanted to be your friend. I know they're cute. <laughs> That's true. That's true. You know what? Being a mage as a teammate, I bet you you get a lot of like 
high damage back like pedaling for the for the build. You don't get enough HP, but I'm trying to tell her 20 vigor does nothing. Yeah, you need like 40. Like, yeah, 20 is what it starts. I had 20 before the first boss though, or it's like 25. 40 vigor, 30 endurance. There you go, Brandon. You know, that's how you, that's how you survive. <laughs> that's how you live. <laughs> okay, that guy has at least a thousand. Whoever's above me has a thousand HP at least. That's like an improvement. Oh, because he's the biggest build ever. And he still died. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the Claymore for PvP and Elden Ring? I'm using it for my playthrough, but want to use it for PvP too. Wait, did I? Is it worth Fight it? Seretic. Oh man, that this has the lowest HP today. Nice. <laughs> Give it to him. You deserve that, Seretic. You deserve it. Right into my madness. Oh well, I guess I guess it's gonna be that way for a while until people learn how to level their health. Ah, uh, yeah, Jack. I didn't kill the final final boss, but all the ones that I needed to kill that were in my way for like the gold runes and talismans, I did. Yeah. I mean, I have forty vigor at level fifty-seven, so yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> I think like thirty is enough. But like 40 is my goal, you know. Also, Oliver, uh, what do you think of the Claymore for PvP? I haven't really used it. I've used two weapons so far, this and the Blood Katana. I'm just giving a PSA that uh, like when you go through the game, leveling health first helps a lot. Like you don't get good damage at the beginning of the game. Like your scaling is terrible. So like investing decks will get you one damage at the beginning. You may as well get all that health. You know what I mean? When you start hitting level like 50, level 60, then you know, start investing in higher damage. But like, health is pretty important. Hello, Kaito. Oh, you ruined my counter backstab. That would have been my first one. Yes, walk into my madness flames. They are beautiful. Tight little area here. Oh, this guy is a tanky one. Oh, he does some high damage. Some very, very high damage. Oh, blood loss. Nice. There we go. And now we're hitting up some higher damage. Whoop. Well, that gives almost instantaneous blood loss. Woo! We do it. I think I can parkour onto that roof. Oh, what? See why? That's why blood loss is pretty sucky. Parkour. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I'll go around. I know where they go. <laughs> I guess. Uh, here. They're gonna end up here. There we go. This is definitely where people are like level 100. Can I pull this? I can. Oh, they're coming down. Nice. Good dodges, Chase. Wait, what? Oh, you crit an enemy out there. Okay. Uh, you can you can raid a message. Yes, if you get invaded, you can indeed. We missed. <laughs> it's okay. We have some regen going on here. Oh god, can that hurt me? I don't know. Okay, I think their phantoms are really high level actually. Uh, that makes sense. The other one's not so much. I wonder how like the summon scaling works in this. Because the host is actually normal health. 
This guy's uh, got a, a pretty large amount. I like it. Thank you. Hey there, Chase just started watching Urvids and fell in love with our Elden Ring skills. What wow. advice would you give to someone trying to beat Elden Lord? Yo, Ziggy, um... Wait, how did this, this guy's already running, what the heck? You have a good weapon, you can fight, man. Uh, but he gets roll caught because he <laughs> scared without his own phantom. <laughs> okay, well, good fight. And Ziggy, let's see. On my first playthrough, there's a few weapons that you can get that help you a lot. Uh, by Liurnia, you can get a plus eight halberd for free from a, from an NPC invader. That honestly carried me a little bit of the first playthrough. I liked it a lot. <laughs> Trying to be Elden Lord? Thank you though, Ziggy. I appreciate it. I appreciate the meme. I was level 120 and was able to be summoned by my 6070 friend and destroyed invaders. Ah, yeah. Okay, so maybe the scaling on the summons is not the best, huh? Makes sense. I have fought a few of those. That one was very tanky as well. Um, I'd love to invade in here, I guess. I didn't do that because I didn't need Mirai's greatsword, but... Uh, you can't D-level Chase. <laughs> nice name. But uh, no, you have to beat the game at whatever level you are at to invade. Not beat it, but like, you have to bring it to whatever you need. Uh, no, you can't do that, Jacob. So you can have a friend give you items, but they need to be within the same range that you've upgraded your weapon to. At least Dark Souls is good in that regard. You can't like just throw your level 5 friend a like, max weapon. It won't work like that. They have to go get it themselves first. So even if you wanted to give your friend a weapon, yeah, make sure it's the same level that they have, because they won't see it. Hello there, cream corn. Cream corn? Oh, that would have been a pivot right there. I was about to get the nicest backstab, I swear. Uh, I want I want a beta. Oh my god. Hello there. He's a chonk. I want you for... What do you know about the all-known armor set? It looks as armor. Nice. No, you Protection saved his life. Or strength, faith, beast, spell build. Do uh, know Ugly, what do you know about the all-knowing armor set? It looks insane. Like, stat-wise, I'm really not sure what the best armor set is yet. Oh, I got a backstab. Oh, my God. It's been a while. Oh, I feel like I should have. I deserved that one. That one was torn from my hands. It was. Nice. <laughs> that was cool. There you go. Those guys were tanky boys. They had health. Fun fight. Fun fight. I'm not sure. Uh, guy, guy, bleed, arcane, dragon build, or strength, faith, beast, spell build. Don't know which way to go with my build. Let's see. Well, currently, mm, guy, the the arcane weapons, most of them anyway, have glitch scaling, so you can't get your scaling damage from it. So if you had to choose right now and you're building it right now, go with the other one and wait until they patch or fix the arcane weapons. Otherwise, you're just going to be doing noodle damage. The bleed still works, and it's still good, but you're going to be doing terrible damage. Uh, it, it's a little better, the backstab, but it's still nowhere near like as crisp as Dark Souls 3's backstab. There we go. Uh, I'm level, well, two levels away from 60, so 58, right? 57, 58? Yeah. Beat up his knight. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they do, Abyss. They do. There's a few things they have to fix. They do. Uh, I'm guessing 130 to 150, Ryan. Just a guess. Just because you're going to be a higher level when you beat the game, so. I did, Dylan. Well, I didn't beat the final boss. You don't need the final boss, but you need to beat quite a bit to be able to get all the Estus shards and stuff, so I did do that. Now this build can be whatever I want it to be. 15 hours of pain at me. All the possible builds. Sir. I'm going to need you to stop. <laughs> That's the death a mage deserves. Nicking at my backside with little spell pews.
They need to let me change the color of my horse. It is of grave importance. Is it, Poncho? <laughs> is it? <laughs> nice pebbles. <laughs> yeah, the pebbles don't... They're annoying, but you can ignore them. Yeah, it's just that you could have to up to... Well, actually, is there a, clear, a character limit? I can't English right now, but in Dark Souls 3, you can have 10. I don't know if they have that in Elden Ring, but we've made three so far. This, the bleed one, and my main one. So there's quite a lot. You can do. This is the frenzied uh, flame talisman. Seal, sorry. Talismans of the rings. I. It's going to take me forever to get used to that. This madness is madness, I know. It's crazy. This is madness. Thing. Oh, in front of me. Whoa. Wait, did that guy get hit? Oh, let's try the let's try the snipe spell. How early can we lock on now? <laughs> guy's like, what the hell just hit me? I'm a sniper! Oh, I'm out of FP. Well. He's trying to snipe me back. Oh, I know. Right into my clutches, mommy milkers. Go get him, my ally. Go. I'll take care of the mate. Nice. Pretty cool. Sometimes the snipe is good. <laughs> sniping, sniping frenzy. Yeah, <laughs> you can snipe. <laughs> HP wear. We don't level that. <laughs> Honestly, I wonder how good a glass cannon invasion mage would be. Probably good because you'd be able to like sneak attack, you know, as the invader. But. Uh, the, I was a Vagabond, but the starting class doesn't matter too much. There are a few that are just as optimal, but... Madness in, is your favorite in sleep. I haven't tried the sleep yet. Um, there's other builds I'm going to try, obviously. We're going to be switching builds probably every stream. I'll work on some, find some weapons, reallocate this one into whatever we want to do next time. That is my plan. Uh, they're just stock bunny. The only thing that I changed was I made start uh, the touchpad instead of the start button. I tend to like finger slide and hit the start button, uh, not hit it. I hit the touchpad, so I use the touchpad. Um, it depends on the. I mean, they're pretty consistent everywhere, but today I've been invading all day in the 60 range at Liurnia. Uh, up by the manor here and all in the atlas plateau i've gotten invasions like basically all here at level 60 today so it's pretty good um where am i going this way oh yeah i, I just instinctively tried to use my horse hello nathan I think we fought before, boys. I think. I'm pretty sure. Whoop. Oh yeah, so I have a talisman that gives me five in uh, four stat uh, spots. The uh, Radigan Seal. You get it in Caleb. But it, it negatives about like 12 absorption from you. So I think it's worth it. I have to do some damage testing to see how much it, it's worth it though. Before I know for sure. But I've been using it. And it seems fine. So. <laughs> Plunges don't work the way they used to in Dark Souls 3. Sadly. He's gonna do it again. Of course he is. He's using the Moon Veil. He'll always do that. <laughs> oh, that guy does some pretty good damage because he's naked. Probably using the Flynn's Ring. 
equivalent. It's only so much FP you have though, buddy. This is madness. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, okay, that guy's a little bit on the laggy side. Let's try and smack him out of the air. Got to kill naked guy first, I think. Yeah, there we go. I'm out of FP. <laughs> okay, FP acquired. And they're off to the races. Goodbye, Nathan. Taste that madness as you cower. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> Sniped. Honestly, such a good end. Uh, should you 100%? No, no, you don't need to 100% anything. Just like... Look up what you want for your build, and then just take the path to get those things. Like, I don't have everything on this character. I just have what I knew I wanted, and I went to go get it. This magic I like. Yes, the snipe, the snipe is some good magic. I'm down. Yeah, so uh, minus 5 Vigor, Endurance, Strength, and Dex for my build, because I'm using an item that gives me those, uh, plus 5 in each, but at the cost of, like, 12 absorption, 12% 12 absorption, so... Uh, if you want, just look at the wiki for where Radagon's source seal is. I think it's worth it. Um, it does give you negative absorption, but I like having those extra stats. Makes me able to wield this weapon that has kind of a lot of requirements. 18 faith, 20 dex, 16 strength. It's like a quality faith. So, it works for me. Wait, did I get his die to two? You know what? To be fair, two tree sentinels. That's on the scary side. I, uh, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. This is a long run, I guess. I mean, I haven't really tested it. You, to be honest, would it be better without it? I don't know until I get a friend to smack me a couple times with a sword to see how many like swings I can survive from him, let's say, and then I'll take it off, and then I'll see how many I can survive without it, and take into consideration my damage boost. Sir. A homing soul mass wizard. My favorite. stamina. Dishonest. Take this for your wizardry. Your heresy. <laughs> Hiding behind a door. That's what you get. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was like Roger's rapier, I think. Pretty sure. It's definitely noticeable, but probably not the worst. Yeah, it's probably like if you need the stats for a weapon, probably fine. I'd probably be tankier without it, but I'm fine with it for the the stats that it gives me. Uh, do you have the charge R2 talisman? This? Uh, you can charge it. I can't, can't you charge all talismans, I thought? I'm not sure this is the first magic I've used, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have like, uh, like six larval tiers on this character and like 11 on my main, so I guess you can reallocate like 11 times, maybe? Yeah. The soft cap for the stats are 80. Do you mean like the physical scaling ones, Dylan? Jeez. I think it is, Nick. I was looking for more, uh, but not everything's on the wiki yet, I suppose. But I didn't find any other weapons for the Madness build. I wanted another one. So if like I had a weird weapon matchup, I could do it, but it's been fine so far, I guess. Ow. Bear, I was itching my nose. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. This guy is in trouble. Oh, he's got the, the sword. I don't know how much damage that does to the bear, but I want to see this out. 20 and 60? Oh god. You should heal. Okay. Or accept the death. <laughs> Rune bear. Yep. They're pretty strong. I walked up to that. Didn't expect that. <laughs> there's a 100% physical absorption great shield? I mean, there's a lot of 100% physical great shields. Or sh shields in general, right? I assume. Nice, Havard. 110 to 150 in the mountaintops. I'll definitely be trying that when I get to my higher level one. I don't know what I want to make, but I want to make like an 80 next for the city, maybe? Wait, 80 to 100 for the capital city area? And then I'll, I'll think about stats I want to do. Hello there! Uh, a lot of people like that ultra. That guy looks thick. He looks thick. Tree lightning. Whoa, I can't attack? Why? I can't. Hang on. That was so weird. I literally tried to running attack. It didn't work. That's not the most annoying spell I've ever seen. Nice. The poise. Super useful against straight swords. doesn't save you from the madness, my young one. Let's do it again. Fun fight, Legion. I appreciate his uses of the counter-attack. I do. Pretty good. Am I still enjoying? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've only played through the game... I guess like three-ish times now. One on stream and then the other ones have been slow and my own. So I'm finding other things as well, you know? It's kind of nice to just be like playing a couple hours off while I edit and stuff and look for items that I've never found. 100%. I'm still enjoying the PV. I will for years, honestly. There's still bosses that I probably haven't found, so... Don't worry about that at all. <laughs> I played Dark Souls for three years. I mean, six years. I really didn't start to get tired of it till the end, so. This game is gigantic. Actually gigantic. Oh, frick my foot. Uh, do you have the change heavy weapon turn while locked on? Uh, oh, I think I do. Yeah, manual attack aiming. I keep that on, yeah. Let's go this way. Anybody have a rune level 80 build? I wonder where that can invade. I want to, I want to do more capital, so I think I'm going to try 80 to 100 tomorrow. See how that goes. Oh wait, this guy's doing the glitch. I see. Yeah, that's something they need to patch. 100%. <laughs> it, like, causes curse buildup while he does it. I think we just have to run away from it if he casts it again. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Johnny, let's go. That's huge. Thank you. Yeah, we're going this Here's way. Goodbye. Six years, my dude. I know I'll be playing this for that long. <sighs> he's just doing the shield? I think he's doing the minigun one. It's kind of sad because it's going to like dummy bosses. Like it's probably doing a ridiculous amount of damage to this thing.
His fire is gone. We don't let him recast. We don't let him recast. No, you fool, Blue. Don't let him do it. Don't let him do it. Fine, I kill the host then. It's easy to dodge at least. That's not gonna do much on me, man. Your boss, your host is dying over there, dude. Pretty sure it is. That's what everyone told me. I don't think that's intended. You just minigun with it. <laughs> Cause that shield counters magic, but your aura is magic, so it just it constantly shoots really high damaging beams. Very dishonest. Very dishonest. Okay, I think we're gonna do a few more here. Let's just go finish in the in the school. And then I need some food, boys. <laughs> Every chain has a weak link, exactly, and that's what you go for. Oh, uh, all stats do that. That's not a glitch, Jojo. That's been in every Souls game. Stat procs are added through rolls. It's actually one of the downsides to it for Bleed and Ice throughout all the Soul series. You can roll their their proc. It makes them so bad. It, I'm kind of I'm kind of happy they made it so madness works. Otherwise, like it would just be useless, and you'd have a low damage weapon. That's just how the Souls games were. Now, there's a much worse one, Kyoto. All right. Hello, Quamp of Furia. <laughs> Didn't see that guy. Oh, nice R2. Very solid on the R2. Yeah, yeah, I might definitely get one. I mean, there's lots of things in this that are just very strong, so I could see that happening with a lot of things. Jeez, that was pretty powerful. Ah, uh, yes, you can still roll bleed and frostbite procs. I wish you couldn't though, because that kind of makes them really bad. Yeah. If, if anything, I'd rather them make it so you can't roll bleed and uh, frostbite. Otherwise, like, what's the bonus of the proc? You know what I mean? You just wait until it's high and then just roll it. This is the reason bleed builds and uh, most status builds in Dark Souls 3 were just terrible. Like you just you didn't see anybody use them because of that. You just miss out on your entire damage point. You're better off just having a physical weapon. So if they do that, it'll make them useless again. So. Uh, backstabbing works, but it's still much worse than Dark Souls 3. So. Yeah, the spear does build up madness, Gianni's. It does, it does. <laughs> they did, yeah. I feel like, well, I haven't used a physical build, but I've seen some really strong physical weapons as well, so. And Arcane doesn't even have its scaling right now. So uh, they're also kind of not in the best spot. There's just a lot of there's a lot of strong things. I guess if you come into this game with the mindset that it's like Dark Souls 3, you're just gonna be like, what? That's so powerful, but there's so many powerful things that it's not powerful. You know what I mean? It's like 
That's hard to explain. If everything is OP, then nothing's OP. That's like the best example I have. Oh, that guy went into the boss room. Yeah, at least ultras have a place here. I definitely appreciate that. Crouching and r one with an ultra makes it thrust very quickly, you know what I mean? So that's cool. Ultras are, and you can backstab ultras easily as much as I love backstabs. That definitely is a buff to the ultra class for sure. 100%. Uh, I honestly don't even know what I would do for like a how to PvP guide. There's just so many things that like I'm thinking about when I'm playing. I try to voice it to you guys. Uh, but that's like the best way I could do a guide, I think. It's just lots of experience. What does that do? Hey, Moonveil. See, like, Moonveil is just as strong, if not stronger, than Frenzy, because you can just one-third someone's health at any given time. You know what I mean? Whereas this, I have to build up multiple hits, so... That's why everyone's kind of just spamming the Moon Veil weapon art, because <laughs> it's it's got some high damage. And it's very quick. Wait, did he heal right there? Moon Veil down. A blue comes into the fray. Was some convenient lag there, Mr. Spearman. <laughs> this guy is just like a giant stage hazard. Why did he give up? That's so weird. It ain't over yet, big boy. It ain't over till it's over. <laughs> now it's over. <laughs> thought he died maybe he thought he died yeah that was I'm not gonna lie very aggressive <laughs> they were just coming dude that was that was a good one that was a good fight that was a good fight yeah that was a fun one <laughs> that's cute uh, I haven't found too many. I haven't seen anybody using nearly any glitches. I guess if that shield one is, it seems like it would be an 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 an, an, an unintended English uh, thing, though. That's about it so far. His friend got a message appraised after you hit him. Of course, I need to be writing messages down, man. I need the message meta. Hello there. Hello. Hello. Fancy schmancy. 
Everyone with their lightning. All right, we go. Madness. This guy's jumping it. He doesn't know what's up. Oh, what the? Oh, the host didn't have HP. I see. Oh, wait, this is the host. Up we go. <laughs> <laughs> just had to let them tire themselves out a little bit and then you just go in for the kill. Oh uh, yeah, if you're using the Moon Veil, just uh, Int and Dex is the way to go for that weapon. If you don't plan on doing magic, you don't need any FP, really. Weapon lock seems way more OP than anyone else has used so far. Wait, oh, your weapon looks... I make it look way more OP. <laughs> so you're saying, uh, Gabe? I kind of just didn't read that properly, I guess. Your weapon lock seem way more OP. Yeah, I guess so. Oh uh, yeah, they're just not leveling their health. The ones that are getting their half their health taken up by my R2. Oh, the lock because of the stun. Oh yes, that's just the status effect. I guess that's what they intended with the... Uh, the madness yeah it is strong though i mean i it's kind of like think of it this way bleed will take like i don't know what 25 30 percent of your health from a, a bleed proc right like five six hundred this stuns the person so i get to do a fully charged r2 which ends up being like 500 so it's, it's kind of the same um in that uh, aspect these people just aren't leveling their health like if it was a, a person someone with my hp I would only do like a third of their health if I got like a, a madness proc off. You know what I mean? So it's the same, really. It's just that they're also very squishy, so I'm able to get free damage because they're so squishy. Uh, it is harder to roll catch now, for sure. Although I'm learning as we go. I am definitely learning. I, okay, I could try it right here. Inescapable Frenzy you want to see, right? But I can't seem to get it because it's like a grab. And they have to trade into it. So I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to do that. Like, look at that guy. That was like half his health. <laughs> you know? That's also scary. We leave the death corridor. Oh, I almost madness proc myself though. Gotta watch out for that. Um, parrying's probably fine. I just haven't been doing it. Wow. That did not hurt Annie at all. Annie's a survivor over there. Maybe mages have better, uh, what do you want to call it? Yeah, oh yeah. They have better resistance to being madnessed, I guess is what I was trying to say. Bap. Give them a nice bat at the end. <laughs> Fun fight though. Yeah, madness resistance, maybe leveling whatever, like int and stuff, may raises that. Yeah, the asteroid thing is the most common, for sure. Ooh, I don't know. I haven't really used an ultra yet. Uh, classic. Hard to say if that's doable or not. I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, they might give madness. Yeah, the wizard's robes and stuff. That's true. Defeat June, host of fingers. All right, June, I'm coming for your fingers. Give me them toes. This is kind of, this is like my AOE that I have. I have like this. That's like my AOE. <laughs> What's his name? Dabs in my pants. 
Oh, Jesus. That is double damage. Okay, we're gonna watch out for that. Be a little smart here. Gotta kill him. Nice. That DPS is nutty, though. I, don't, I almost died in two, like, two of those hits. Fun fight, though. Double dual wielders. Jeez, the jump stun is crazy. <laughs> I have, yeah, Noble Knight. It's pretty sad. I think they'll fix it though, but it is cheesy. I have seen it. I'm level 60. Well, we need to level up too. I guess we can just put the levels in to be 60 now. I have souls. Free level ups. Um, More damage, I guess. More faith. Let's see. Dex. Oh, it's because, it, yeah, I technically don't have the... The levels one two three so i would go up by like four ar i guess that's not really worth maybe more health <laughs> more health i don't know to be honest oh wait no i want that scream eventually we'll do this and then we'll be good <laughs> more hp <you> know? <laughs> do a few more here Yeah, it's pretty strong. We fought a lot of those today, Billy. They, they do like a third of my health with the weapon art. If the sword also hits, it'll probably like, it could probably half chunk me, but I make it a point to not get a hit of the sword and the magic. You know what I mean? Obviously, you can't always control that, but at least fighting it at sort of a range helps. We fought a decent amount of the moon, veil moon veils today, yeah. Uh, technically, mine's somber plus four, which is a regular plus ten. The one, sh I don't really want a one shot. I kind of like not one shotting people, but there probably will be some shit like that. Wait. Oh, they're over there. Well, that's a mission. I guess they actually came down I don't know if he knows that he's getting madness build up while he blocks yeah I, I, I don't think he knew oh hell no hell oh god okay that was a lot of panic rolling but that's because the blue literally spawned in my escape route why do the blues do this to me you all such convenient spawns. Oh, hell no. That's also very... You see what I'm talking about? There's lots of things that are very strong in this game. What may seem strong now was not once strong. I don't know what that line even means. I don't even know where I am. Like, half of that thing's power is that I'm blind while getting hit by it. <laughs> that dragon shit's the most annoying. <laughs> Would you stop? With the dragon. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. Taste that. Yeah, you deserve this. You deserve this. <laughs> you deserve it. I'm mad with madness. Get that fire out of my face. I can't see. <laughs> That was funny. Honestly, that seems strong. Maybe being a dragon as an invader would be amazing. Imagine they're chasing you in a hallway. You just turn a corner and then... Just like breathe on all three of them. Just die. 
Okay. <laughs> Let's go somewhere to finish it off. Maybe more of the manor. We didn't do much in the carrion manor. I don't know, Nobeldom. They all die usually from the crit because they're all like half health when it happens. So hard to say. Hard to say. Uh, there's a quest line for it, Jack. You have to follow uh, Hyatt, the girl with that asks for the grapes after Godric, the boss fight. That's how you get that. Ooh, maybe they're actually on the same level as me. Let's go. This could be good. No, uh, whatever level you are, you can never change. You can't go down, and you can only level up to go up. So if you're level 100, you can't go any lower than 100. Uh, rune arcs don't work in, PV in invasions, but they work as a host. So if you use your rune arc while you have a great rune equipped, uh, you get the great runes bonuses. Dun -dun -dun. Um, the guard counter works decently. I think it's better with fast weapons than slow. Unless your poise is high enough to tank a trade. Then you probably get a lot of damage. But I haven't used any because I'm not using a shield at the moment. So I don't tend to block with my spear. Down, I guess. Yeah, yeah. This, I mean, this is kind of the weapon showcase series, Mark. We started with the katana and now... We're doing Vikes War Spear. Next stream will be a different weapon. Basically the plan. This is kind of like the start of that. That way. Oh, they're below. Oh, the damn. I need to jump down. Hundred percent shield. The bleed weapon art. The bleed weapon art is strong. I got hit by it today, and the moon veil. They do like a third of my health, and I'm very healthy and very tanky. And that host just died. <laughs> I guess that saves me some time. I guess. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things will change. You know, what, what's working now might not always work. So, use dragon spells next. Maybe I don't know what kind of weapon to pair with it. I mean, the weapon, the spells look cool, but. I also want to use a weapon. I try there a lot, uh, Wacko, but I uh, I end up spawning on the bridge always. So I just I guess I can try more, but I just don't bother. No, you have to go collect golden tears and sacred. Uh, every every key item uh, that I have, I had to go get at level fifty. The only thing you can drop to your friend is a weapon. Has to be the same level that they have in their world currently. Or uh, I guess some I some no armor. I think you can drop armor as well, and uh, uh, items. I guess no key items though. So if you guys want golden seeds and stuff for invasions, you gotta go get them. So you gotta beat the game at whatever level. Is it painful? Yes. Is it fun to have a build that can become anything? Yes. Worth the pain for me anyway. Oh, he shielded right in time. That was pretty cool. That was one of the cooler things we've done today. Nice. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, the dragon spells are crazy, Akira. I agree. If, dude, the range is insane. It's crazy. It does cost a lot of FP, so I guess they can't use it a lot. But when you're fighting a three-man team and they do it, it's, it's scary. It's pretty scary. The double death animation. <laughs> yeah, he did die twice. I'm not really sure, Alex. It's hard to say what works well. I've, I've only tried two things. 
<laughs> uh, this way? Compass. This way. Uh, I'm I'm level 50, I'm level 60 and I beat the game at 50. Well, I didn't beat the last boss. Like I I went through most of the game. There's no reason for me to kill the last boss when I'm just making a PVP build. I don't have to. So like I did everything at level 50 except for like the last boss and a few other uh, unimportant. Oh, there's a lot of bosses I didn't have to kill to do this. I had to kill all the main ones though. Yeah, it's classic. I think you die, honestly, if they're like spread out at all and like three dragon breathers. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah, the Urchi one you get from killing Moog in the, 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 bleh, bleh, the depths. I don't want to spoil areas though. Like I'm trying to, that's why I'm keeping my invasions a little early as well. We haven't invaded any late game areas because less spoilers as well, I guess, right now for people that haven't beat the game. Exactly, no build them. That's what I did. The plus eight halberd is what carried me through at low level, to be honest. I used that and the hoarfrost stomp. Helped a lot. Yeah, I already killed the last boss on my main character. I ha Have I fought a, a good group of invaders yet? Oh, uh, you mean like a team, Gabe? Oh, there's been some good teams, honestly. There was a really good fight in the or not the cathedral, the school, a couple invasions ago. It was pretty long, and they were pretty damn aggressive. It just depends. Like, everyone's new to the game, right? You can't expect everyone to be, like, amazing at it. There's, like, those of us that have played Souls for, like, lots of time. We kind of have, like, experience, but it's still a different game. So we're all... No one really knows exactly what they're doing. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people fog wall here. It's very cool though, but yeah, I think this might not be the best place to invade. To be honest, out of all the ones I found, like I sometimes spawn really far. They fog wall. Like Liernia is very good. The water area is very good. Hey, fifteen years? No, just just six. <laughs> Hello, boys. What are we doing here? I love how the crouch is the universal sign for... Should we have a war? Why? Oh, they summon another one. Okay. We go murder, then. It's only fair, wizard. So he enjoys the wizard wave. But a lot of... See, like, what he's doing wrong right now is he's just spamming circle instead of, like, trying to dodge the weapon. He's just expecting the dodge to work. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that in Dark Souls 3. Like, until people get good at understanding how to not panic roll, you're gonna find a lot of people will get roll caught by people that know how to roll catch. Ah, uh, I thought that was it. Whoa. The madness buildup is so strong, though, for sure, in like a tiny area. <laughs> he enjoys the roll of catch, yes. He is a connoisseur of getting roll caught. <laughs> Have I found Tears of the Casual? No, I don't know if this game has Tears of Denial, to be honest. It would be nice, because there are some things that do really high damage, like the dragon thing that knocks you over. I would enjoy a tears like item, yes. Do you intend to have your level to be 57 and not? No, I just, I didn't know what stats to put for the last three, but I switched them. I'm 60 now, Audric, and I think my game crashed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the game just crashed. Um, Hang on a second. That would be, a yes, it indeed did crash. That'll happen <laughs> sometimes. Oh, is it uh, Nagroth? Really? I gotta go find that one then. Uh, it does matter, Louis. Yeah, uh, your level, your level ten weapons, same, same. But yeah, weapon level matters in matchmaking for sure. So level and weapon level, it seems so far, RJ. Yeah. Um, I mean, blood, do you mean the buildup in iframes? That's been there since Dark Souls 3, so either they intend for it to be like that, 
or they can't fix it because <laughs> like you've always been able to apply uh bleed frostbite poison stuff in iframes but there's a downside to that and that is if you're a bleed build and someone rolls you will sometimes proc your bleed while they're rolling and they don't take damage so that actually nerfs a lot of the stat effects now they made madness work so this one isn't nerfed by that so that's why i guess this one seems stronger right now you can actually get a proc during that so it's either they need to choose to do it for one like or not at all for all of them i don't know whatever whatever they're gonna do it's really up to them but that's my input <laughs> yeah i definitely gotta try the what does proc mean like it like it activates like let me let me give you an example so uh see those bars you just saw on my screen actually i'll show you um Oh, they're going into a boss, whatever. So when I attack, see how that builds up right there, that meter? It's half full. When it fills up, that means the status effect is like proccing, like it's, it's activating. Like it's activating, yeah. So it's when it triggers. So what I'm saying is like all the status effects in the past during a roll could trigger and they wouldn't do their effect to the opponent. So opponents could kind of cheese people that use status effect builds. You know what I mean? They'd wait till it's close then they'd run up to them and dodge their swing and it would activate and they wouldn't take damage. So the bleed would activate, you wouldn't take the bleed damage. The frostbite would activate, you wouldn't take the frostbite damage. Uh, but now the madness works during that. So no one can dodge roll the madness proc and have it not work. Yeah. So madness is the only one that currently doesn't have that, uh, I guess, cheese. I don't know. That's probably why it's stronger, I would say, than Bleed currently. As, since I used Bleed last stream, that happened to me quite a lot, and I was like, damn, like, you rely on those procs with status builds because your weapons are weaker because they have those stat procs, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know, that's always been a thing in this whole series, I guess. Everyone calls it a, a status proc. I don't know. Pure, like, procure, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. That's been there since I started the game, I guess. I'm so used to saying it. You can jump on it. Okay. See? I guess that makes sense. Uh, a special weapon at, like, plus three is sort of equal to eight. It's, like, 7.5. The math is really weird on the, the somber compared to the normal. It's very strange. Uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure on the damage. It seems like it does an amount of damage. I think it's lower than bleed, though, because of the stun. I'm not sure. It's different on everyone. It's hard to test unless you have, like, a friend just letting you test dummy him. <laughs> okay, he's this way. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of a plus 25 weapon. It's not even with like a plus 10 special, you know? They should have made it 20 if they were going to do that. I think 10 and 20 would have been fine. But they did 10 for special, 25 for normal. And that's just throws me off when I'm trying to calculate like and keep my weapons even, you know? Okay, they must be up on the gate then. Damn, that is a journey for me. Hang on, let's see if we can get closer with this. Yeah, each level is 2.5, but then that begs the question, do they round do they round up? Like, if I have a plus three somber, right, and that equals 7.5, am I am I in the eight range or the seven range? You know what I mean? <laughs> Hello, William. Where is your teammates? That's interesting. Have my weapon art. It's like a shoulder bash almost. Oh! Sneaky! William's dead. Oh, that was the host. <laughs> well. Random. He came out of that bush, didn't he? He was hiding in the bush. 
Crimson Bubble Tear from Mountaintop of the Giants. I actually got that on my other character. I thought it let me heal the amount of damage that was given to me. Maybe I was reading the wrong one. Okay, we'll go for one more, boys, I think. I really, I haven't eaten in like five hours. Actually, I didn't eat. I just had a protein shake today. <laughs> I woke up in streams. <laughs> I've been loving Elden Ring, to be honest. So good. Yeah, 20 was fine. I thought it was 20 and 10 as well, but uh, it's it's 25 and 15. Um, let's go somewhere else, I guess. Maybe the Outlast Plateau. This was kind of cool. The deck to lift. We haven't invaded there at all. Sustenance. I require sustenance. Oh yeah, for sure. Maybe I'll do a few more here, to be honest. Oh, can't invade here. What in the... Okay. The Elden Ring has taken over. We no longer live life. We only Elden Ring. <laughs> that's fair, Razley. I mean, I was playing it like, like 10 hours a day on stream, so uh, that's why I got kind of ahead. I was just no lifing it. Oh, hello there. Moo 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 foo hoo hoo. Shahai. Smash. Oh god. This is gonna hurt. Maybe not. Not if she dodges. That was cool. I saw his shadow. Ha! Good shadows actually have a purpose. They allow me to know when I'm getting plunged. Finally, a use for shadows. Man. Lightning's a pain. Aw, oh, that's sadness. Heal. Smack. Ah, I thought he rolled towards me, sadly. He didn't. Nice, that's all I needed. First you dwindle down the weak one, because they die first, you know? You just look for the healthy, you decide who's healthy, and you look for the unhealthy. I think I have the regular R1 roll catch down now, too. Nice. Oh, that's not how you gesture. <laughs> They keep double dying, it's funny. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of the roll catches in this. Ah, uh, plus four still. It goes good, Dylan, it goes good, man. Trying out the Madness Spear. It's been quite fun. <laughs> it's been pretty damn good. Oh, I get this. Yeah, so yeah, so when it procs mid roll, I guess it still does avoid the damage. But the stun is nice. That's very beneficial. Maybe they should give that to all the the status effects. Otherwise, they're pretty bad. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, sure. It's called the uh, frenzied flame seal. I'm 60 right now. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing we're doing this one and then maybe one more. So that's fair. A nice five hour stream is, is good for this build. <laughs> yeah, madness would be like useless if the stun wasn't there to be honest. It doesn't really do as much as bleed. Nice, dude. Got the pro. Hello there. Hello, hello. What are we doing? A nice, a nice wave. Hey. Hello. What are we doing? Hey. Oh God! What was that? Was it that run? Moon veil. Some beautiful moon veiling. 
Ah, I tried to like learn his timing. <laughs> the moon veil be an interesting one. It's a beast of its own. Is that a wizard tool? Seems like a wizard tool. A great sword, but it's a glowing great sword. Not really sure on what it is. It was smart to block there. I kind of have my roll catch timings down. Back to the moony moon. did a lot of damage to me though to be honest. Did like abnormal amounts. It's like my whole health bar. Jeez, down to this, huh? Down to the one health. <laughs> Very good fight though, but damn, that thing is a monster. <laughs> Half of my HP with one Moonveil weapon art. I guess it'd be like that. Fun fight, boys. Fun fight. GG though. Very GG. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. Uh, just because there's active PvP here right now, undefined. For sure. Alright, we'll do one more, boys. We'll do one more. Anywhere that I didn't. I mean, I could go in this cave. Actually, let's see. Super active here. Man, this castle is just so active, actually. <laughs> yeah. That'll happen. What is that moon veil? Yeah, it's like one of the highest damaging things in the game right now, like from a normal weapon. It's very, very high damaging. People told me about it and I was like, really? But I got hit by it like three times today and hell yeah, it, it chunks. It chunks. It's crazy. That's why like people are like thinking the madness seems OP, but do you know how many times I have to hit somebody to proc it? I got to roll catch them like three, four times. Uh, if I was using the moon veil, let's say, and I hit them three, four times, they would have already been dead. You, know, you get what I mean with that? Like if you equate it, Moonvale could one shot. Yeah, I, I got hit by like a 80% one. Still won it, but like when you compare them, it's much stronger than the madness. That's why I don't, I don't know if it'll get changed. Like the madness, let's say. Well, one shot any anyone with a weapon art. Yeah, it definitely needs a nerf. Out of all the things I've seen. That weird uh, curse fire buff glitch needs to go, and also the uh, the moon veil definitely needs a nerf for sure. The moon veil is also a lot slower. No, no, man. Like this running attack is slow. Look at this. My swing. Look at my swing speed. The weapon art of the moon veil is the same speed as this. If you uh, have used it, it's very fast, and it's got really long range. I've used the Moon Veil in my playthrough. It's a lot stronger than this weapon. Although this weapon's a lot more fun in my opinion. I think it's really cool to madness somebody. Hello there, uh, Lady Sinful. How are you? I just know how to roll catch with this now. So it made it a lot better once I figured that out. If people panic roll, I can hit them. Fun fight, lady. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I find upgrading a little bit easier as well. Uh, no, it was weird. I don't know why my weapon art didn't do better damage than my R1 right there. Yeah, that was weird. 
That was weird. All right, I think we're going to call it there for today, boys. I love the stream today. I love the build. Uh, there it is for you guys. I'll, I'll keep it there while we look for someone to give a host to. Now, I know YouTube can't raid people. Okay. But what I do is I link someone who's also doing what I'm doing, sort of. And you guys can go say hello if you want to watch more Elden Ring. Um, 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 um. I actually don't see anyone playing right now. <laughs> I guess everyone I watch streams a little bit later than now. Okay, so I have no one to give a raid to, I guess. Well, I'll be back uh, next stream with, I don't know, either like some Frostbite, some other stat proc I want to try out. Uh, I'm going to make videos out of this, though. This this definitely had like so many cool fights. We can make some cool videos out of that. Frenzied Flame, Vikes, War Spear is what I used. And then what spells did I have? Flame of Frenzy, Inescapable Frenzy, and Frenzy Burst. Although I didn't land Inescapable Frenzy, so I don't. I don't really say it's the best, yeah. <laughs> but I'll see you guys all next stream. Enjoy your day. Have fun. Go play Elden Ring. <laughs> good night. Good night. I'll see you all.